Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between and beyond, welcome to our stream number 129. I hope you're having a fantastic time, a beautiful Saturday. Yeah, day. Saturday day, because it is maybe morning, evening, or midday depending on, on where you are. The weekend just started beautifully. It is quite cold. That's why I'm again in my white thing. No, it's not, it's not the only reason. <laughs> and for today, for today, we have really something new. We are going to start again with a little bit of GeoGuessr to just warm up and to get the uh, daily GeoGuessr input for some, right? But afterwards, I would like to try something totally new, totally different. Um, but I'm gonna tell you about that, of course, as well, right? So, let me check first. Is everything working? Do we have drops? no drops so far because I watched the last stream and I realized that um, ciao, mama. ciao mom that actually the, there were some issues with the stream it was freezing like there were some freezing moments some legginess and I think it is the stream itself it probably has to do that I have changed the bitrate um, to 6000, which should be actually that what um, what um, what which usually requires. But strangely, sometimes it it dropped a lot below that 6000 mark, and so today we are on 7000. Today we are on 7000. All right, friends, so here we go. What do you think? Shall we start already a little bit with, um, yeah, I would say like something our um, common game, our game for professionals in any way. This is something that I really would like to start with. We're just going uh, a few rounds in GeoGuessr and after that um, we're trying to find out how the future of democracy or maybe how the future of the world may look like. Right? <laughs> Big words, but we will check everything out, right? All right, so everyone who would like to join, mm, you should now be able to see yes all right nice because i have really big problems to try to catch the new game and actually it, it's still not working the way i wanted but we will see we will see how everything goes all right what are we going to start with what is it that you desire actually i would like to start with a little bit of flags first Legs is something that I really would like to um, improve again. So let's just do that. Anyway, it doesn't matter what we are doing at the moment of the stream or what time it is. Please, never hesitate. And if there are some questions, if there's something going on in your, in your life, what you would like to tell about, never hesi hesitate and just... Tell us about it. We're here for you. Or I'm here for you. And sometimes you are here for me as well, right? <laughs> Alright, so flags of the world. Everyone who would like to join in. Here is the link. Here we go, friends. And just a little reminder. We are doing a little bit of GeoGuessr. And afterwards... We are going on to something totally different. 
All right, here we go. Our first, our first flag is going to be something very pixely. We are in the pixel, in the pixel world. <laughs> what is that? What is what is the flag? The pixel flag. I can. I think there is something red, some green and yellow, but uh, what might this be? This is the big question, right? This is the big question. All right. Mm, no idea. Honestly, no idea. I think it's somewhere in Africa. It is somewhere at the sea. Hmm. It is somewhere at the sea. What might this be? Okay, it's not there. It's not Somalia. It probably cannot be Ethiopia. It's not Kenya, really. <clears throat> it's probably not Mozambique, right? I'm sorry. I'm losing my voice a little bit. Hmm, not so good. Probably not so good. But seriously, friends, what could this be? At the moment, I really wonder. I really wonder. Can this be some... Uh, Can this be Zimbabwe? Actually, are we maybe on the wrong continent? But actually, hmm. Runa, hello there. Yo, how are you doing? How are you? <laughs> are you ready to get destroyed again? Soon I am, soon I am. I think we're just going to do one one round of the flags. Then it would be great. It would be great if we're going to do some uh, destroy Robert again, <laughs> a geoguesser. I would really appreciate that. It's awesome and great that you're here. I'm doing fine so far. I have some problems with the voice, I think. So I hope I'm not going to lose it today, but... Um, we will see. But how about you? How was the the day yesterday? Did you play some some Sea of Tees with your friend? I have no idea what it is. It was it was Bissau. It was Guinea Bissau, really? Hmm. Bissau flag. That's probably. Oh, really? Hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. Why not? You did. And how is it? Are you doing mostly still PvP or what is it there? What can be done nicely? Wow, what a beautiful place here. Yes, as we said before, we sh really should try to do it. But first I have to try out the setup with my Xbox because I have to play on the Xbox. My my notebook is definitely not going to be able to, to cope with the stream and um, games like Sea of Thieves because they are quite beautiful, right? So they are um, hungry for... Yeah. So, I will try it out. Maybe the next week, maybe the next week, I'm gonna try it out, and afterwards we can um, we can set up an appointment <laughs> for playing CFTs. Would be a pleasure. Would be a pleasure. Really. really. Okay. I I don't know. Maybe today I'm just not in the right mood because I'm not even sure about the. 
the color of the flags. I mean, what is this? What is this? Red, blue, yellow or something? Or what is that? Hmm. Can you get the link? Of course. Red, blue, yellow. Yeah. Didn't I send it before? I think I did, right? Here should be should be this link here. So please join in. So just join in. Mm. Okay, we have not much time. I know that I know that I should know that country. But I really uh, not today probably. If someone is in the chat, who knows the answer? You're welcome to help. Please. <laughs> Please help me out today. Probably my brain is not working as uh, as it should. Um, are we maybe here somewhere in Colombia and so on? Well, I just gonna guess. What? Oh, Armenia, man, of course. Of course. <laughs> Whoa, that is not a good sign. I hope I'm not getting sick. I hope I'm not getting sick. Yeah, red, blue, yellow. Who would thought that? What a surprise. What a surprise. Okay, here we have now a few flags. I think here we finally have Zimbabwe. But isn't that Singapore? Singapore? No, it's or is it China flag? China flag? Singapore flag? Hmm. What if it is an embassy or something? Okay, it was not what I thought it would be. Well, Runa is already there, Mozambique. Runa, how could you improve so fast? That is just amazing. The red one was filmed by a black hole. Really? Let's let's check. Okay, it's it's the Lebanon. Are we on the third one? Oh, you did not see the third one at all. Okay, maybe I, I will have at least one ride. Oh, Runa, you are in somewhere in the sea. Very good. Are you trying to do to be as fast as possible? Maybe is that the thing. Yeah. Well, what is this? <laughs> it's maybe funny, but I'm not even sure about what what this is. Is that? Can we? Can we do famous famous places? I know most of them. Of course we can. I don't know any of them probably. I probably don't know any of them. Man, I just just gonna do something. It was Tunisia. <laughs> All right. Runa, awesome, just awesome. All right, let's do some, uh, what do you want? You want to do uh, famous places? Famous, famous places. Let's do that challenge. And let's do two minutes. I think I'm not going to do very long, you guesser. I'm 
probably not in the mood. All right, here we go. Here we go. So everyone who would like to join, here's the link. Everyone who wants to join, here's the link. And here we are. Ooh. Is it like um, the uh, Never Dying Army? The Terracotta Army? In China? China? Oh, this is awesome. But I'm not precisely sure what it is. I don't think it's in Beijing. Hmm. The army built for an emperor. Which they may should should protect for Aeons to come. I'm gonna say it's somewhere here. Okay, then they needed clay, they needed mud, so they needed water. Don't know where it is, but we will find out after that run, right? Second one is so hard. Oh, it is in Xi'an. It is more in Xi'an. In the... Almost close to the brewing factory. Oh, look at this. Wow, awesome. King Shi Huang Bing. Ma Yong Museum. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I think it's in Australia. The second one is in Australia. Yeah, it's... It's quite probable in, in Australia. I'm very sure it is in Australia. I would believe you, but this is, of course, so obvious that... Uh, but now I have to find the Statue of Liberty more precisely. Wait. Isn't that somewhere... Where exactly is it? Statue of Liberty. Um, is it a big island? Is it? It's not Swineburn Island, right? It would be strange. It's called Swineburn. <laughs> Entis, Aloha. How are you doing? Prime, Prime's viewers on my stream. What do you mean by that? Ben, that's a bot. Oh, Ethis, what are you doing with us? The ad bot. Here we go, Ethis. They're selling viewers. Oh my god. Don't sell the viewers. They have a life. <laughs> they have a life as well. How can I do that? By the way, that's good, good way to find it out. Time out and ban. All right. Oh my god! I did not choose anything. At this, you you were say selling viewers, and I did not find the Statue of Liberty. Oh, it's far closer than I thought. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is Stonehenge. This is Stonehenge. But I don't know again where it is. The problem is, I know maybe about the places, but I'm not sure always where they are. I've never been there. But this is also very impressive. Mm, thing. 
no one knows exactly what's there. There are assumptions, right? Um, it's not even quite sure how old they are. Some say maybe 3,000 years, some say 12,000 years. No one knows exactly. As no one knows exactly how they get there in the first place, right? It's very interesting. I mean, it's not really like impressive by itself just seeing the stones, but the story behind it, right? The story behind it. Mm. So let's try to think a little bit. I think it's quite far in the in in the north, but I don't know where. Oh, it is not. It is actually quite far in the south. And Druna is exactly at the at the perfect place. Druna is just breaking all all things, <laughs> all good things. All right, here we go. Actually, we can do that this way. I think this is totally fine as well. All right, next round, Stone Age. Okay, this is the Maya temples. But now I'm curious. I'm not quite sure if this is that sticks more in the south or is it Mexico, but I think it is Mexico. But again, I don't know exactly where, where in Mexico. Yucatan? Is it Yucatan? Uh, Cancun? Somewhere there? Let's try it out. Oh, not so bad. Not so bad. At least. At least something. Interesting. Interesting. Runa, of course, knows it so good. Ataraxi, hello there. Welcome back. Great to see you. How is your day going today? Our elite viewer. <laughs> Great to see you. Runa, you are definitely not, not bad. I am bad. My last guess was so bad. Was it? Are you able to eat soon again? Ataraxi, I think... I'm not sure in which time zone you are. Wait. 3 p.m. was yesterday for you. 3 p.m. Are you in Spain somewhere? <laughs> Wait, when when were we streaming yesterday? At the same time, wasn't it? Strange. No, def definitely not Spain, I mean. All right, where are we here? This is something I don't know at all. But... Um, is it maybe Luxembourg? No. Looks... Like Espanol to me. Or Italy. I don't even know what this building is. Do I? Attention. Zona Escolar. At attention. Is this Italian or is it? I don't even know which language it is again. <laughs> I realized that in addition to the problem that I can't see the difference between Portuguese and Espanol. I now don't even know if this may be Italian, actually. That's the thing. That's the thing. I don't know. Attention. No idea. No idea. But it's good that I find it out after this round. 
It was in Spain. What was it though? What is this? What is it? What's, what is so important about this place? It is the Real Monasterio de San Lorenzo. Is it this thing? What is it that is so uh, good about that? Let's find out. Let's find out. How is the fastest way to, to learn more about that? Can we see here something more information about it? We can't, right? I thought we'd make him. Um... Okay, but it's not an. Um... I want to know more about it. What is this place? this place let's do it in English of course El Escorial um, or Monasterio del Escorial um, residence of the King of Spain located in the town of San Lorenzo de El Escorial um, mm -hmm. built between 1563 by uh, order of King Philip II. Okay, some interesting news. Some interesting news. And Runa, I just can clap again for you. Runa writes, I didn't know that the last one, but I know really many famous places. Looks like a castle, yeah. And it's the castle of the King of Spain, as we found out. All right, actually, I liked it. Actually, I like it. I want to know more about the famous places. Let's do more. Are you in, Runa? Let's do more. I like it. How was the, how was it called? El Escorial. El Escorial. El Escorial. Escorial. Why is it called Escorial, by the way? It's like the royal site of San Lorenzo. Hmm. Okay, where 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 are we now, friends? Restaurant and garden. Nabaste. It feels a little bit like Germany, but not quite. And it could be also Austria or France or whatever. But it's, of course, something in Europe. Though this very much looks like Cologne. Like the Cologne Dome. But is it about the bag thing here? Or is it about this place? Can't even read it. Can someone read this? Sesta Sinsta. All right, that's not German, bro. <laughs> this could be. Could be. No. Can we go out of it? Not very far. It looks very interesting. Yeah, I can't see which country it is. <laughs> On the plate. Oh my god, we have just two minutes. I'm talking too much again. I'm again talking too much. Mm, what might this be? I don't know. Is it Italy again or is it Belgium or something? Or Denmark? It was, it was Prague? Man, that is, that is sad, you know, because I've been in Prague. <laughs> I don't recognize it at all. It was the... What was it actually? What what were you looking at? Like the Cathedral St. Vita? 
or what is it that we were looking at? What is it that we are looking at? Wait, now I lost the place where we have been actually. Okay, no. Mm. Novi Kraluiski Palace. So it's like a new palace or something. Okay, let's go. Next one. River Splash. And this is a famous, famous place. I mean, it looks like it is somewhere in the backyard of my house. I mean, what is this? It's literally just a park for water ridings and for pirates. <laughs> no idea where it is. And I'm not sure if I want to know, actually, in this case. In this case, yeah. You're joining the new game now? You're welcome. Would be great to, to have you here. Sweets Kingdom. Sweets Kingdom. Knights Kingdom. Well, look at this. Weir Hilset. Good day. Eder Er and Comet in Knights Kingdom. What is this language? Is this Denmark? Or is it, uh, I think it's Denmark. Somewhere in Denmark. The Lego Kingdom, as it appears. Is it like Legoland or something? But no idea where it, where it might be. Oh, not so bad. It was in Bilund. The Lego house. It was really the Lego place. Hmm. I knew all of them, writes Runa. Nothing surprised me anymore. You are just, you are just amazing. Wait, where's the Golden Gate Bridge? I was thinking about Los Angeles, <laughs> but wait, San Francisco. It's the Golden Gate Bridge is San Francisco, right? Yeah, I think. Right? Oh my god, I'm so bad. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, luckily. Happily. But wait, on which side are we here? I'm not I'm not sure on which side of the of the bridge we are. San Francisco. Please don't get this wrong one. Yeah, I would I would lose all all the belief I have about my possibilities at knowing something right away. Right away. I don't know. I think we're somewhere here. Hmm, we were on the other side. No, yeah, whatever. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, the Colosseum. I hope, maybe. Right? Is it the Colosseum though? What if it is not? It would be great to go to Rome, actually. If it is in Rome, maybe it's something Greek. The Greek Colosseum. All right. Don't know where it is in Rome. If it is. When was the Colosseum built, actually? Why can't I click on it, like, just to get information about it? That would be nice. Colosseo. 
give me some information about the Colosseo. Okay, we get a lot. Isn't there always usually a possibility to go... right away to Wikipedia? It was built... Um, construction began under Emperor Vespasian between 69 and 79 AD. Alright, interesting. It was completed 80 AD under the under his successor Titus. Oh, I know Titus. Or at least I heard of them, of him. Hmm. The Colosseum about 69 to 79 AD. Wally, hello there. <laughs> I'm doing fine, but I think I'm I may be a little bit getting a cold or something. But so far so good. Yes, we are um we have getting some information about the Colosseum, which was built about 60 9 AD and um, constructed full, fully at 80 AD. Is that again an airplane? What is this? Are you kidding? Um, I think this is a few years ago because this building is still not not finished. But, if I am right, this should be New York, right? Is it like the memorial? Or uh, what happened? Oh, and now it's funny to find out where. Is it somewhere there? Oh, actually, I can even see it. Is that like the North pa Tower pool? Or are we at the south? We are maybe at the south, right? Somewhere here. Not so bad. Not so bad. What do you think, friends? Not so bad. Runa was doing it just very fast because she knew that I maybe not gonna know it at all. <laughs> and then it would be enough. Right? Runa? Am I right? Runa, that was already closer. That was already a closer round. I think one more one. I think one more. Let's do one more. I like the famous places. I think everyone but the thing about the Lego and Denmark should be known by everyone in a way, right? So I really would like to know them more. And Runa, you are just amazing. I I, really, I literally can't believe how much you have improved. Wally, how are you doing actually? How are you feeling today? How are you feeling today? All right, obviously we are somewhere in France. I hope I'm not wrong. Marie de Dulieu. Is that France? <laughs> I hope it's not saying like Italy or something. Suddenly. Suddenly. Grand Hotel de l'Opère. Hmm. I wonder what this building is at all. Doesn't feel like Paris. But it's maybe a 
I've never been in Paris, so don't know actually how it feels. All right. Did I gave the new link? Yes, I gave. I did. I did give the new link. All right, one last game, and after that, we're doing something totally new, totally different. Don't know how it's going to work, how it's going to be. Um, but it is something kind of a game, right? It's going to be something kind of the game. All right, it was in Toulouse. It was in Toulouse. And what was it? What was it in Toulouse? Le Capitol? What is Le Capitol? What is Le Capitol? Mm. We'll find it out the next time. All right, where we where are we here? Where are we here? I think I saw this before. I think I did. What he writes, to be honest, I'm tired because it's the second day with hard drop and also I miss my soulmate. I hope we can meet tomorrow. I hope so too. I hope so too for you. Right? I hope so too. And maybe some some relaxing day tomorrow. Right? A day of relaxation and warm hugs. I hope. I hope for you. Hmm. But if you may go to bed already, then I wish you a beautiful stream. A beautiful sleep. Did I say stream? <laughs> I'm already getting crazy myself. Okay, friends, where are we here? Is it Rome? Don't think it's Rome, but... But it is. Is that the 16th Capel? Pantheon. That was the Pantheon. Interesting. Okay, this looks very Russian. This looks very Russian. But still, it doesn't look very impressive. Whatever this is exactly. I maybe, ha I maybe even have been here. Is this Saint Petersburg or is it? No, I wish you a beautiful stream. Thank you very much. <laughs> I wish you a good night then. I'm not sure where we are. Is that St. Petersburg or is it Moscow? <laughs> Both things. If I'm wrong, it would be very sad. Because I've been in St. Petersburg and in Moscow. And at the moment, I don't know where we are. What writes, thank you for your support. No, thank you. It's always great that you are just here. Just watching the stream is already... Already a lot. Everyone who is here with us. Thank you very much at this point. So you are thinking it's St. Petersburg. So let's, let's just try it then. Maybe it's... Okay, let's say if it is St. Petersburg. 
Maybe this is the island, and I wasn't on this island, this very famous one. Oh. It was Moscow. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's the other thing I was thinking about, right? It was Moscow. That is very bad. Even the places where I have been, I don't know wh where they are. Okay, now we're getting to, to the embarrassing things. Now we're getting to, to the embarrassing things. Something that everyone should know, but I don't know. Is that this one? Better not get this one, yeah, yeah. This would be very... I think... Actually, the, the previous one was even more embarrassing, this one. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We were exactly as far away from the perfect place. 75 meters. Um, Wally writes, it is understandable. It is almost not possible to walk all the streets in Moscow. Yeah, well. But it was quite a famous place. Okay, what do we have here? Again, a dome. Or a cathedral cathedral as as it may is called in english but i don't know in which country we are it feels either espanol or italy but it is maybe neither of them oh look at this we can go there There are quite similar places in Germany as well. I mean, like the Köln, Cologne, Cologne um, Cathedral is almost the same. In a way, there are many places in, in St. Petersburg. But it's, of course, not St. Petersburg, right? So. Mm. Isn't that the thing which burned in France? No, it's not. That is, this would be really remarkable, like the French uh, the French uh, it's in Par which, which is in Paris. But it's, how can we get out of the here again? Because how did we get in here? <laughs> what is this? All right, there's something in Spain, I'm gonna say. Oh, it was in France. It was in France, but it, in Charlie. It is the cathedral. Wait, it was the Notre Dame Cathedral? No. What? Really? That is bad. So, Wally, you probably w were right. What, this is how it looks? It looks like every cathedral of the thousands it looks exactly the same. All right, friends, I think that is enough with GeoGuessr for today. Mm. And now, if it's going to work, if everything is going to work, I have first to change... Um, our title, maybe. Let's do this like that. Oh, really? Wally writes, I once um, was pu had a puzzle of that building. Really? That is <laughs> that is a coincidence. That is awesome. How did you like it? It was a 3D puzzle, so that's why why you know it so much. That's amazing. That's amazing. So I should have trusted your 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 uh, first thought. All right, friends, what we are going to do now. 
is something, and here's maybe the pre pre story to that. I have a, I've had an idea that I wanted and thought, in this world there are things of people who are in charge, right? Like the politicians, which don't know often the basic things of how maybe the economy works or other way around how everything works together, like right? Like the you make maybe uh, something like a law, but they don't know how exactly it's going to affect everything. And that's what I, why I'm thinking actually about mm, the other way that there are people out there who are playing games about strategy and economic games and knowing maybe about how how everything works together more than the most of the politicians and the people who are in charge charge of the world at the moment in a way, right? So this is why I'm thinking about a kind of a game or to be more precise, maybe it's just a tool which shows all the information of a specific part of a country, maybe a city or maybe the whole country. Mm -hmm. Like the information about the GDP, the um, real in unemployment and everything just at one place and on one interface. So this is something that should be gathered then in real time. And to get a feeling of how something like that should look like, I would like to try the following game. It is called, and I can, uh, should turn it now on, right? Um, let's see if this is going to work. I hope so. So maybe you can hear it already. So it's called Democracy 4. And we should be able here to try out many different things of how um, different laws are going to affect everything, but also see um, how maybe an interface can look like. To be honest, I did not take a look at all at the moment on this and I don't know where it's going to lead us, but I want to check it out, right? So, let's see, let's just start a new game. And as it appears, we can choose at the beginning a country which we would like to be. And the countries have different difficulties. As it appears, United States, the United States of America would be not difficult at all. I think this is how I understand it. But the United Kingdom, on the other hand, would be very difficult. Interesting, actually, right? That it is um, so difficult to be the United Kingdom, even compared, for example, to Germany. Or maybe I'm misunderstanding that. So we could do something like... Um, saying which country I should choose. I think I would like to choose Germany, actually. Just because I am in Germany at the moment, right? And I would like to try to to improve maybe everything as much as possible, right? <laughs> in Germany. But also, if you have at the moment other ideas and um, other countries which you, would, which you would like to see, we can try it actually the next time, right? So Germany, the Federal Republic of Germany, commonly known as Germany, is a federal parliamentary republic uniting the 16 states under the leadership of the president. Boy writes, good luck, thank you very much. All right, so I think um, this is this is a funny part in a way. Germany is, le is the leading member of the European U Union and Germany first became a democracy 1999 but was ruled as a dictatorship from 1933 after World War II which ended 1945 some years of, of, of confusion this is an interesting part some some years of confusion Ataraxi welcome back did you have your meal your 3 p.m. meal because I was asking about that actually so let's just start and I think we can here choose can you actually see everything so far? Is it, is it okay where I am? We can choose here the name of our party. And actually, I think we can even write our own name, right? I think we can. 
So we are going to be the together better party. <laughs> That's how we're gonna call it, really party. Oh, the exit right. It's it's only twelve p.m. Twelve p.m. So you are in the United States, maybe somewhere, or at least on on the other side of the big water, of the big. Uh... All right, and our opposition party is going to be the futurist. Oh no, no, let's do something, something. Um, something old sounding the family values party <laughs> the, the freedom brigade the green alliance <laughs> justice league <laughs> I like that um I would say it's going to be the Let's do the Echo Union and uh, the Fundamental Right. Yeah, whatever. Just try it out. I don't know how this everything works. But I would say we are on an, an economic cycle, which is almost like now. We are more or less close to a depression. Or are midden, in the middle of it. The starting debt is going to be... I don't know. How much is the debt actually at the moment in Germany? But let's do just 2.5. Drugstore is yes, I am in the United States. Good to hear. What this game about? It is going to be about politics. Yeah, politics. All right, welcome to Democracy Forum. You have just started your first. We have to be the cancellor. We are the cancellor of Germany now. Like we rule. We are the ruler. Runa, you rule now in the game as well. So you have just started your first term as chancellor. And as your chief of staff, I'm here to explain how the things work. The icons below show you a few key indicators of the state of our country. Hopefully you can change things for the better and get re-elected. After your term is up, press the button in the window below, marked Begin Term of Office to start governing. Okay. Begin Term of Office. Make the next North Korea. We can do that the, ne the next round. but. I would like to try it first, <laughs> make the next North Korea out of Germany. That's an interesting idea for the next for the next stream, probably. So welcome to your new job. Mm. The lives of 83.782 citizens are now in your hands. I think it's quite the current number of the German citizens. As you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that you will need to deal with us with as soon as possible while keeping an eye on the long-term improvement of our citizen's quality of life plus do not forget that you have a face re-election for years so you will be need to monitor the opinion pools and our party membership so we have fear four years and we have something like the unemployment rate we have a very high crime rate poverty is that good or is it bad? So if the crime rate is high, I think it's bad, right? Can we push the button? No, we can't push them. Okay, at the recent election, your party won with a majority of 10%. 10% was the majority? Wow. This will give you some political power to implement your politics. Policies. Whoa, what is this? Look at this main screen. What the? Okay, from here you can survey the current state of your country. It may look complex, but all the different components work in very similar ways. The icons represent different objects in the economy or society, including policies, laws, voter groups and values for important concepts such as health and education levels. All right, okay. Um, these stripes on the left screen represent groups of voters. So these are the groups. This is the things we can do. So they are the groups of capitalists, the commuters, conservatives, the wealthy ones. The wealthy don't like us already. Um, so the lighter area behind the text shows the percentage 
of our electorate that is in each of these groups. Which, what, the lighter, the lighter area, this one, this is the lighter area, right? This, this light blue thing. And one of the key concepts of Democracy 4 is to understand that individual voters can be members of many different voter groups at once. At the extent to which the, they identify with those groups is in itself variable. You will never get all of, this, of these voters groups to entirely improve you as some are opposites. Okay, here are the policies. You start the game with some already implemented, but most can be cancelled and many more can be added. They can also be adjusted. Policies are the primary method you use to govern the country. That's how we do it. Okay, and in the end we have data. data. So we have policies and we have data at the end. So like the GDP. The concern about abstract concepts such as GDP, so the cross domestic product, crime or education level for our citizens, you can affect s statistical data only in indirect through policy decision, like the other icons. Okay. Icons of red or green background are situations. These are ongoing events. Okay. Let's try it a little bit out. Connections. What are connections? So policy data situations are interconnected through effects. These are the effects to remind you, the red ones. Hoovering your mouse over any of these icons will show how influence flows between them. With green being a positive effect and the red being ne negative. So this is something that I told about, right? Oh, you can't see actually because of my camera what the what the person is writing. So maybe... Oh, you can see that. Let's do it this way. Right. Now you should be able to see it. Okay, with green being positive and red being ne negative. The speed of flow also shows the strengths of the effect. Experiment with this. Okay, let's take a look. Oh man, I hope we are not going to do a lot of tutorial. I think we are just going to quit it actually. So we see here how, how happy the people are. How the incomes are. And here we are at the detail screen for income tax, so we can make more income tax or less. Okay, the policy slider. Yeah, here we can change it. And here we are going to see how much it's going to have an effect on the different, on the different groups. But we also can revert changes. Okay. Let's take a look here. Those are the situations. Okay. Triggers and graphs. Hit the close button. And here are the statistics. Okay. Statistics. And this is the very important one, probably. This is the political capital, um, which represents the amount of support your government has to get things done. You have a limited amount of political capital per turn. Each turn is a quarter of a year. When you run out, you need to end the turn to get more. Some political capital can be carried over to the next turn, but not all. Click the icon for details. Okay, this is actually how much power we have to implement things okay from popular turn from majority turn from emergency powers post election boost capital per turn okay so we we can have at maximum 28 um 
capital at the moment that we have 14. Okay. Here are new policies. So like the border navy, navy or citizenship or citizenship for sale. <laughs> oh, that is interesting. Tourism ad campaign so that more people are go going to come. A border wall like make America great again. Drone strike act. Global terrorism threatens our country. Drone strikes on foreign grounds are sa safe way to prevent terror organizations. I wouldn't say so. Not at all. Foreign investment restrictions. Okay, interesting. So we have a few things here. What does he want us to click on? Those in red cannot currently be implemented due to a lack of political capital. Select the policy and then hit implement button. Also, we have already to implement something. So what what policy should be implemented? Citizen, citizenship for sale. <laughs> mm, no, let's do something for welfare. What do we have? We had food stamps. General mutilation ban. Yep, implement. Whatever it costs, we are going to do that. By the way, let, let's take a look first. What What is going to have? So the conservatives are going to be not happy about that. The rebels are going to be happy. The religious are not going to be happy. The potential cost is going to be 5 to 22 million. Really? And there is going to be non-potential income. But the voters are very into it. So they would really like our choice. 90% of it. Of them. Alright, interesting. So let's implement it. This is... Mutilation is definitely something that they want to ban. In this case. Wait, how can we... Why isn't it working? Oh man, we, we broke the... We broke the... Is the tutorial broken now? I think the tutorial is gone. Okay. If the tutorial is gone, then we just are going to do it ourselves, right? So just just by clicking and finding finding everything out. Security briefing. What is this? Icon controls. Okay, value influence. Interesting. So we can change a little bit how it looks. Voting intentions. Disposable income. There are different voter types. So this is actually how many people, right? 36 people at uh, 36%. Okay, okay. Alright, there's a lot of information. There's a lot of information we have to go through, right? But we are going to just do the best way of learning. Just trying. We're just, just going to try out and probably and hopefully we are not going to be much worse than North Korea. This is this is our goal. <laughs> this is our goal for, for this round. Just trying everything out. We can search. There are some achievements. Oh, we have a cabinet. So this shows who you have working in each government department. Each minister will have a different level of experience and loyalty. Both of which may change over time. Experienced ministers are more effective um, at their jobs. They can get policies implemented faster and cheaper. Be aware that over time the loyalty of your minister may vary. Okay, good to know. So we have a very nice guy, Ludwig Schumacher. <laughs> the people are just looking amazing. What does it mean that this is green, this is yellowish? Oh, he's not very loyal. Or she. He's not very loyal, that's what it means. Wait a second, I think I'm gonna move the cam a little bit to the south somewhere. Let's move the, the cam to the south. Oh, but I actually have to be here in this. Let's go there. I think there's... Or oh, maybe, maybe something like... Uh, 
Uh, let's go there. Somewhere here. For now. Okay. So we have the cabinet. We have settings. What was that? What was the sound? Beep beep. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Electro engineering. This is the electro engineering screen where you can choose between different tabs to view different aspects of your party and candidate chance for re election. Some options, such as speeches and manifestos, may not be applicable until just before the election. So it's probably best to concentrate on running the country until then. Okay, so this is something um, that we are going to do just before the election, more or less. Okay, so what can we do? We have a deficit. We have already some expenditures and a little bit of income. We are not very popular at the moment. Just at 2.6%. Wow. Wow. So the people are not ha happy about it. So let's so let's improve the happiness. Let's do the policy. Um, oh, this is our expenditures. So we are a lot is going to the energy company. Oh no, wait. The state pensions. So we have two old people. Two old people. Too many old people in Germany. <laughs> the state schools are using a lot of money. Healthcare. Military spending is going to zero. I can tell you already. Can we, cho can we change that? Okay. Law and order. Drug enforcement agency. A specialist team of policy experts trained to deal with very specific demands of enforcing our nation's restrictions on narcotics. Trained sniffer dogs, undercover agents and border police all work together to stop the flow of drugs into a country. That is not going to help at all. I'm always a person of reading the reason behind something and not the symptom. Drugs are just a symptom of a difficult life, I would say. Witness Protection Program. National Armed Forces Week. No. Community Policy. What is this? Community Policy. Working with the community rather than attempting to control it. Community Policy encourages the policy to better understand the needs of the local community, especially in areas with ethnic minorities. Critics see it as an Expensive waste of money, which could be spent on more direct methods to cut crime. To cut crime, really. But the crime is going down, racial tensions going down. I like that. What is that? But it costs us almost a billion. Wow. Wow. Fuel efficiency. But that is all that we can do. Is it? Is that also all the policies? I'm trying to understand. What what are we seeing here? What is this big percent thing? Oh, is this... This is actually our income. From the tax... From taxes, right? Do I understand it right? So we have here some... State rail company. The effective, effectiveness is, is on 45%. What is this? Why is it min minus 100? This slider bar controls the intensity of the policy. So we can like do more, give more to the state rail company, right? We can give them more money. And here we can see that the capitalist would, did, would not like this. The trade unionist would not like this. But this socialism and state employers would like that. Interesting. That's interesting. Confirm using... No, I don't want to use anything. Okay, I'm just... I'm just looking at the moment. Rather than leave it up to the individual to provide for themselves after retirement, state pensions can guarantee a minimum standard of living for the elderly. Be aware that as... 
life expectancy rises, the cost of the state of paying out pensions is increasingly hugely. The level of state pension may encourage or discourage citizens to save into private pension plans. So if we are reducing it, people are maybe going to um, do it more by themselves, right? And at the moment, it costs us about 45 billion that the people are, that we are doing it for the people, like the pensions. Interesting. Okay. Now I don't want to spend anything again. Interesting. What is this? The state schools. All right. I'm going to say it right away. Education is key. Education is key for a de democracy. A real one. Not a... Just a look-like democracy. Which is almost everywhere in the world. We really have to educate our people. But here, of course, we can not choose if it is the best way to educate people in state schools. Because... Um, Probably there are already better things to do. Clean energy subsidies. So these are actually all the policies that we can do as well, right? So where are we going to begin? Ooh, look at this. So this is in a way interesting. So the game tries to make the connection between actually your um, your likeliness to to get re-elected right so if we want to get re-elected it would be good for example at the moment to maybe impress people who are in the majority at the moment right oh the retired are very happy about us at the moment is that correct Happiness. They're very happy. Retired are very happy. Fanatically op opposed, fanatically supportive. Oh, they're like fanatically supportive. The retired. Okay, okay. So we have now this idea of people like just get improvement by the people. But actually, I would like to try to just improve the country itself. Um, and for this, we have to take a look on our debt. Our income. We are at the credit rating AA, AW. It's not the best, but uh, the second best, if I remember right. Here's the income sales tax i wonder i wanted to try already many things which i have in my mind i was thinking about changing the system of taxes in a total different way because at the moment the most of the taxes in the country are done or and not in every country of course but the income taxes so just the people who are usually working employed somewhere like they're going to their job every day for a specific time specific time and most of the people um, that is where the income is coming from right but I was thinking wouldn't it be more interesting like to do it a different way like making more taxes on sales and especially on things which are very um, Unuseful for everyone in a way, which are just like watches which are costing about $25,000 or something. You know, this direction. I don't know if we can do something like that here, test something like that out, but um, we will see. Maybe we can do. But the moment I can see that we just can rise it or we can um, decrease it, which is actually less of influence than I thought it would be. Mm, yeah, that's not so cool. So if you are increasing, for example, if you would like to increase, 
uh, the sales tax, we would already need eight power, eight political power. And we have just nine. So we actually would spend almost everything on that. Okay, the middle income is at the moment not happy about us at all. Can we actually see how many people are in the different groups? This is something I would like to know, actually. So first, like, trying to help. Oh, this is, this is exactly what I want to know, right? So we have, no, we have poor people and we have wealthy people. We have poor, and this is the middle. We have quite a lot of actually wealthy people. What is this? Focus group. Trade unionists. Okay, what do you think? What shall we, what shall we start with first? I think maybe some. Policies about um, welfare is already good. Something like genital mutilation ban. I didn't know that in, in Germany there's still no genital mutilation ban. <laughs> Maybe it's not the Germany of today. I'm not sure about that. So, um, make it clear to all citizens that this violence towards children is no longer acceptable with an outright ban. By allocating resources to this ban's enforcement, its impact will be deeper and more rapidly felt. Winter fuel subsidy, tobacco awareness campaign, and food stamps. Food stamps is a, systems, is a system where state will issue vouchers or stamps to those citizens on low or no income to ensure they are able to afford food. Yeah, they are able to afford look. Unlike giving a straight cash benefit, food stamps can only be redeemed for uncooked food, preventing them by being used for unhealthy takeaway take food. Interesting. But also very... Uh, Jonathan... Yeah, yeah, we are, we are definitely going to do mutilation first. Probably. Supporters see food stamps as valuable way to ensure nobody goes hungry, no matter their income. Critics consider such a scheme patronizing and no more than papering over the cracks caused by free market failure and low wages. That's true. But this is something that we should implement. How much is it going to cost? So genital mutilation. It's going to cost us... Oh, we can... What? Imprisonment, heavy fines, banned, banned for females. What? So in any way, it's going to cost us four political power. And it, it's going to cost us at most 22 million. And this means the people are going to be imprisoned? Or what is that? What does it mean? Heavy fines. Yeah, of course. I mean... Heavy fines, it's not enough, though. Though, imprisonment is, of course, a good question as well, right? Effects. Minus 16%. What does it mean, minus 16 But this is also just minus 60. I don't exactly understand how this how this thing here work. Minus 16. Minus 16. Either way, it's just minus 16. Let's try it like that. Okay, we don't see um, the effect right away, but we're going to see it probably in the next round. 
So we have just four left, actually. Oh, and these are the, my ministers. Now I understand. So these are the ministers, we, which we can see there. So, what is this? This is the public service minister, law and order, transport, foreign policies, welfare, and economy. Okay, we have a deficit of 4 billion and debt of 2.5 trillion. That's something. That's something. Child benefits. Welfare. Okay, how can we improve the economy? I would actually like to improve the school. Or any way of um, education. Is there more that we can do? More than just school? Free education for all ensures high levels of literacy and can be beneficial to economy. Especially those parts of the economy requiring a skilled workforce. The flip side of this is that state education can be expensive for the government. Capitalists see state education as an unnecessary intervention in the free market. No, that is definitely not the case. Free... Oh, this costs a lot of uh, political power. Modern textbooks. Student laptops. Yeah, well, I'm not sure if student laptops are required, but f wooden school huts. <laughs> okay, actually, there's not much that we are changing there. Hmm. Like, we can't say the very specific things, like... Really, the education should be for free for everyone, for example. So what else do we have? Science funding. Science funding would be important. How much do we have left? We have just two left. Okay, let's improve a little bit. Um, first, the part of education and everything, because if we have more... Smarter people, it's always better, right? Well, right, sorry, but I have to go to sleep. It's 43. <laughs> you don't have to apologize. Thank you for stream and this nice time. There's more to think of. It is, it is. There's a lot we can think about here. And I wish you a beautiful night. Oh, by the way, I now see that this month's tips is right in me, in a way. But who cares, probably. Yeah, all right. Let's let's do the camera a little bit higher, so like here. All right. So let's take a look. What else do we have here? What is this actually? This is the income tax. The sales tax. Payroll tax. A tax deviated on employers, in proportion to the salaries paid to employees so easy to collect and hard to avoid but can act as a disincentive to employment what else do we have proper tax minimum wage unemployment Oh, so there we can see, if we want to have unemployment, then then those are all the things which are having an impact, right? So, for example, it has a positive impact on poverty, on poverty, on this one. But, but um... Mental health has a positive impact on unemployment. Oh, this is very interesting. This is very interesting. This is maybe exactly the thing. Um, Wally, goodbye and good night. Goodbye. Till the next time, I hope. <laughs> Hmm. 
All right, interesting. What I would like to do, I would like to ban private schools. Can I ban private schools? State schools. I just saw that there are private schools. I don't want to have them. How can I? How can I get rid of them? I can't. Why? Why can't I? So here we can see at the moment just those things which we still can do because of our two political power. Um, yeah, tourism is always good, but I think better than to have uh, like advertisement, we should just have quite a nice country, right? I think this is one of the important parts. Right? I'm just thinking where I may should move uh, my cam. But let's leave it there. Okay, what can we do? We can tourism, tobacco awareness, business startup campaign. This is good. This is very good. What is this? Many people have bright brilliant ideas yet only a few of them dare to take the steps necessary to set up their own little business around their idea this campaign will help the, these people out informs them what they need to do where they need to go and what permits they need to get this will help a great deal and make self-employed people happy that is interesting what is the national business council um, the establishment of National Business Council gives a strong voice to business interests and ensures that, that the needs of business, both big and small, are taken into account. The Council serves as a way to promote capitalism and enterprise and across the message that the corporate world has much to offer, creates employment and prosperity. Mm. Trade Council. It has always been a hassle to find trustworthy trading partners in foreign countries. With the, with the establishment of Trade Council, this will become easier now, as potential trade partners are listed here and make offers themselves. This will increase international trade and boost the economy. That's interesting. And it costs just about 51 million. Interesting. But this is something I would like to implement definitely. Cost 87 million. And it's not going to have. Um, yeah, let's just implement it at the moment. How good is Minister is in their current job? Oh my god, look Ludwig Schumacher is quite bad in, in his job. So he's very ineffective. That is not good, but maybe we have to find another person for this job. I mean, we don't have to do it already very extreme. We can do at least... But actually, this is a very important thing to have. Uh, 129 million, that's quite a lot. Okay, let's do let's do 84 million for that. Let's try it. Okay. Here we go. So this is our first round, I think. We have changed some social public um things. University grants, school prayers. Let's go to the next round. I just want to see how it looks like right now, right? Click to return to government. Okay, report. This is the quarterly report. It will highlight some key indicators which impact upon the current state of the country. Plus, there may be other information you need to be aware of. Urgent dilemmas may appear that need your attention this quarter. Anyway, I can see you have a lot 
to attend to, so I will let you to go to work. I'm sure the government is in safe hands. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that, Mr. Mr. Sinister. Okay, the GDP went down. The GDP went down. And can we see the change from before to now? Where can we see that? Where can we see that? Causes, effects. Uncompetitive economy. So we have a 30% less competitive economy. Why is that? The productivity went down. And the wages. The wages have risen and this is and has a positive effect on the on the GDP. Does this make sense at all? Hmm. Corruption. What was the zone? At the moment, I don't understand it perfectly. I mean, does this mean what does it mean? Employment went down. If the unemployment went down, isn't that usually good? Why is it red? The bucket usage went up or is it is it green and went down? What does it mean? Oh, we should have raised tobacco income actually. Tobacco taxes. I'm against uh, smoking. Especially that other people are paying for the problems probably, right? Of some people. Oh, we can change right away things. We don't have to go even to the other thing. By the way, we have 13, um, 13 um, political power at the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. I think we should do that, but we can't do that so much. We should really increase the tobacco tax. Yep, yep. Okay, what does it mean? What does it mean, everyone? Tobacco usage goes down. Poverty, poverty goes up. But green? Does it mean it is good or is it bad? I don't understand it. I mean, if poverty goes down, shouldn't it be the green? So actually, the okay. Let's let's read what what it says here. Ban alcohol, Edwards. There is an urgent policy question that requires re immediate attention. Ban alcohol, Edwards. There is a, a proposal for a law to outlaw the advertising of alcohol on television. Alcohol is... Uh, it would remain legal to advertise on radio, billboards and other means, and TV. A TV ban is seen as a potential way to reduce alcohol intake of citizens. I would really love to actually ban advertisement for all drugs. Totally. This law is crazy. Either you have a ban on the product or you do not. Alcohol is perfectly legal and enjoyed by millions of citizenship without ill effect. <laughs> without will of ill effect, that's funny. Banning advertising of a product on a particular medium is a token gesture, gesture for the anti-alcohol seal lots, which does nothing but interfere in the free market. No, we are improving it. It might not stop alcoholism overnight, but a TV ban is a step in the right direction. Yep. Oh, the, the liberals do not like our... But the alcohol consumption goes down. 
I would prefer if good things would be shown green and red things commonly red. So if alcohol consumption goes down, it should be like it's a, something positive. I, I mean, it's a little bit strange that it's oh yeah, it's strange. Okay. Corporate exodus. Our data is showing that the will have um, that we will have a potential bad situation, corporate exodus, on our hands if we do not act soon. Why is the corporate corporate people are so uh, unluck unhappy about it? stability? The stability of the state. This is a measure of how stable the incumbent regime is in your nation, taking into account a broad range of indicators to assess the risk of collapse. Instability will have an impact on foreign relations, investment and tourism, and indicates that, that there are fundamental issues with your country's governance. Interesting. So the people think we have really problems with the governance already. Good. <laughs> Good. Good to know. Violent crime. Mm -hmm. So what do we have to do? What? How can we improve that? Work safety. Current is 13.15. Actually, I don't know what he wants. Cabinet report. What does it mean? Plus 1.3. Oh, the ministers are giving us are giving us the political power. So from the different aspects, right? Foreign policy, welfare, economy, tax, public service. I don't like the loyalty of some of the people. And also the experience. I mean, look at the people. She doesn't have experience at all and doesn't like us. What means campaigning? How good this minister is at campaigning during election? Interesting. But the, she doesn't have experience at all. Sympathies, poor and commuter. Let's try to get someone out of office just to know which effects it has. And um, for example, her. She, she she's just very inexperienced. Inexperience, I hope we can get a better one. Oh, show potential ministers. Look at this first. Look at these people. They have a lot more experience. Experience. I would like to take a look especially of the experience level. Socialists and, and liberals. How can it be that socialists and liberals are um, in favor for, for a person? Is that... Is it able? Is it possible to combine those things at all? Okay, I would like to to have her for our job, Barbara Seidel. Patriots and retireds are on her, on her side. Let's her. Let's take the other one. So we are going to fire her. One capital. What does it mean? Hire. Hire her. Okay. How much capital capital do we have? Can we fire more people? I don't know. Alcohol abuse goes up. Those are the causes. Unemployment, poverty, mental health. The alcohol consumption is still on 64%. Is that right? Ban alcohol adverts. This is something that we have done. Alcohol law. What does it mean? But actually, I like it that we can see 
what is really impacting those problems, right? Antisocial behavior, vandalism, public nuisance, pity, pity street crime. These are all the results of an antisocial lootish behavior that has become commonplace on our streets, often linked to consumption of alcohol and not helped by insufficient level of police on the streets. Antisocial behavior causes stress for many of our citizens. And what does it mean? At the moment it is at 66%. So it's very bad. And those are the things which are um, having an impact. This is the number of turns of inertia in this effect. So if the underlying value has changed, this shows how many turns it will take before the effect has been fully felt. Eight turns. It's gonna take us two turns, uh, two, eight turns, so that it's going to have an impact. Wow. So those red things are the problems we have. Gridlock. Chronic con congestion leading to virtual paralysis of the transport infrastructure. There comes a point where traffic con congestion is so bad nobody can get anywhere. I don't know, we don't have really much power actually. I mean, just 12 points that we can change. This is really not much, is it? It's really not much. But we have to deal, to deal with the problems, maybe. Obesity. The GDP has an impact. Okay, wait. Green, green. I'm trying to understand. So, unemployment has a green... If the unemployment rises, obesity rises, right? And here we have the other way around. If the private healthcare um, rises, then obesity should go down, correct? Is that, is that how I understand that right? For example, I would allow, like to increase. Oh man, this costs so much. Student laptops. I'm not sure if it is needed to have student laptops in a way. But it's definitely very important to have educated people. What does it mean, poor? So this is the people who like us. The poor are going to be more happy. Education is going to is going up. Well, it can be very far up actually. Poverty would go down a little bit. And unemployment would go down. Yeah, definitely. Definitely increase it. Education is key. Education is key. Let's do that. We need more educated people. And now that was it. We can't do anything anymore. Good to know. We can't do really nothing, right? We can't... Oh, we can change the taxes still oh god did i change the taxes now i did i think uh oh uh oh what was it on i wonder can we i mean can we change more people Military spending. Let's go down. I don't want to have any military spending. 
We can't change it. Oh, we need a lot of uh, political power to to change that. What is this? You. EU membership. As one of the wealthier and more economical stable nations in the EU, you pay a net contribution to the e EU government to help support the European economy. Mm. Okay. So we really have to... What does this mean? Security briefing. This is your intelligence briefing room. We monitor a number of organizations. Some of them are rel relatively harmless, but they can act as gateways into more extremist, dangerous groups. So we still need to keep an eye on their membership. Our chances of preventing attacks on government will vary based on what security policies you have in place. Okay. So we don't have many problematic people at the moment. Armed police, security effect effectiveness. Okay. I would like to change all the unexperienced people actually. This is quite fine. She is very bad, actually. Can we can we change her? Experience has a base value, but grows each term they are in the government. This affects how effective they are. As some okay, so they're probably going to improve over time. Oh, actually, they have also a desired job. She she would like to be in public services, actually. Interesting. Okay, this is something we have to take into account as well, as well probably. All right. Mm. Solidarity tax. Property tax, corporation tax, payroll tax, airline tax, microgeneration grants. What is it that we can still do after we have? Community policing, working with a community rather than attempting to control it. The crime should go down, racial tension should go down, yeah, we should do that. Implement. Wow, it can cost a lot. Body cameras. Antisocial behavior is going down a lot by that. What would be good, right? So let's improve it. So we need, we are buying like body cameras for that thing. Really? Let's do a little bit, but not too much. Okay, let's go to the next round.
Let's see what's going to be here. Oh, we have to click. So here's a summary of the current state. What do we have so far? The GDP stayed exactly the same. Is that right? Or, so, or did it went down a little bit? They don't understand that actually. So, health, health stayed the same. Education. Is education now at one hundred percent? What? Is the crime going down? Yeah, the crime is going down a little bit. Two percent. Unemployment. Unemployment went down. This is because of our policies probably about state school. Right? Okay, what, what do we have here? Corporate, corporate medical marketing. For many years, certain pharma companies have been giving money and other favors to doctors who prescribe their drugs, even though sometimes these drugs were not needed or not the ideal choice. This has increased in recent months and while no physical harm has been done so far, it is only a question of time until something bad happens. Take no action, introduce regulations. Yes, this has to stop. The lives of patients are on the line and it is unacceptable that doctors prescribe medicine based on their own financial motivations rather than what the patients needs. Regulations will be put in place to prevent pharma com companies influencing doctors in any financial way. Okay. Let's do that. The capitalists are not happy about that. The private healthcare. Private healthcare went down 8%. The health increased, retired are happy. Okay. Keeping your promises and your principles, not doing U-turns on policies and sticking to manifesto promises, if any, from previous terms will boost this perception. Policy flip-flop. The policy flip-flop, we have quite, no, we are, corruption is rising. Plus 5%. What? Is corruption rising? No, it's almost the same. Our data showing that we will have a potential bad situation, mutual tax evasion on our hands if we do not act soon. Mutual tax evasion. Interesting. What is going on there? Budget report. Global eco economy is going down. Glo global economy. The GDP debt is a little bit rising. Relative GDP is going down. Wow, our GDP is, GDP is going down. Quite much. Income is going down. But expenditures are going up. It's exactly what is going on in the world at the moment, right? All right, let's see. Let's see, what are we going to do next? 
Oh no, I closed it. I didn't want to close it actually. Oh, there it is. Okay, wait. Um, the Poots report are actually not very, very important at the moment, but they are going up or down. Average approval for seven. No, it's going down. It's going down. Changes. A list of changes to the state of your country since you were first elected. Look at this. 90% less alcohol consumption. The environment is going up. Less CO2 emissions. The demand is going down. Yeah, because the, <laughs> our, our GDP and our um, industry is probably going down. Right? Business confidence. The oil price is going down, the GDP is going down. Air travel. The lifestyle has increased for 4%. Isn't that awesome? The buckle usage is, is going down. Productiv 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 productivity has risen. Look at this. By 3%. Not so bad. Not so bad. But the wages have this decreased. That is not so cool. Private pension. The size of the private pension sector. This may run alongside a minimal state pension or completely replace it in countries that are happy to leave retirement planning to individuals. Many poor members of society will not have the means to save adequately for their retirement without state help. That's interesting. That is interesting. Okay, what do we have? Cabinet report? What do we have here? Oh, look at this. Law and order. She's very unloyal. And that's why she is giving us very... Not much. So we have to take a look if we have maybe someone. Law and order. Decide jobs. Law and order. Quite experienced. It's not perfectly loyal, but... Still not so bad, right? But we actually could also take um, Juliet Pensport, Pensdorf. She's not so much worse experienced, and would us give more uh, loyalty points? Yeah, let's do this. Julia Pensdorf. So let's fire her. Julia Pensdorf. Here she is. All right. The tax woman is not so so happy about it, about us. But um, I don't know. I don't understand how many um capital points we we have I don't understand how many capital points we have All right so the next thing we are going to do we are decreasing the military spending ceremonial only but we can't do that so much so we are doing it so far let's do that that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. So military spending is usually um wait, military spending has good effects on technology on unemployment on Patriots, state employees. All right, so this is this is a thing that we have. After that, we don't have many changes actually, right? I'm going maximum at the moment, as you can, 
as you can see, we are really doing just big changes, changing everything quite a lot. Just to see how everything works. Alright, let's go to the next one. Okay, the GDP went down. Ooh. The GDP went down a lot. But this is okay. I think now we can spend all the money from the military point. Health. Health is going up a lot. Very a lot. Interesting. Education is at maximum. Actually interesting that the education is already that high. The crime is going down. That is also good. But the unemployment has risen. That is bad. That is bad. But this is okay. Mass sentencing. Hundreds of prisoners have been sentenced in a single hearing, violating international standards for a trail. The facts of each individual's case cannot possibly have been properly considered during this travel of justice. Why, is, why did this happen? At all. Um, our lack of friendly policies of forcing companies to close down factories and offices and move their businesses to other countries. The corporate exodus is, is has risen 1%. That's not so good. Our data is showing that we will have a potential bad situation. Prison, overcrowding on our hands if we do not act soon. Why is the crime actually not going down further? We have to increase the unemployment, uh, de decrease the unemployment. Two night angry classic car salesman Arnoff explains how the how this government disastrous car emission limits policy is wrecking this their once driving business. Arnold may have to close his 25-year-old business after government policy has made the cars he sells visually worthless. Another vote lost, lost for to get a better party. Tune in for the special report. Car emission limits. Yeah, this is the topic about um, environment, right? But we're not going to change anything about that. Okay, the global economy is just just going down like like a bird. Interest rates are on 1.75. Income death ratio death to GDP ratio is 92%. Well, deficit is 13.5 billion in any quarter. Is it, does it cost money to decrease military spending? No, it doesn't actually. How much would we need six now? It would, it would decrease, of course, uh, increase the unemployment again. Which is not so good. Okay, let's do first something for our for our economic economy in a way. So where where do we have unemployment? Uncompetitive economy. Corporate exodus. Environmental protests. Where is unemployment actually? Poor earnings. 
Can we search for that? Unemployment. Un. Um. Yeah, unemployment. Where is it? Oh, there it is. This is the unemployment. So state schools are um water industry. Why is that at the strength? And this industrial autom automation. So if the industrial automation rises, the unemployment rate rises too. Correct? If the state school rises, what does it mean? Minus thirty percent. So because of the state school, um, the unemployment unemployment rate is thirty percent lower. Wow! It costs thirty-seven. No, it costs just seven billion more, right? That's that's the point. Chancel policy, apply changes, reverse changes. Why can't I just close it? Healthcare vouchers, poverty, equality. Actually, more important than healthcare vouchers would be that the people have jobs. And pe for people having jobs, what is technology? Intellectual property rights. Establish the protection of... Establish the protection of innovation ideas by granting their creators a period of monopoly over their use. Advocates of intellectual property rights claim that invention is incentives by allowing the owners of ideas to benefit financially. The aim is to prove, promote creativity and progress. However, the practice, in practice, the use of these rights tends to favor the resource rich who can pay for rights registration enforcement. Foreign relations, foreign investment, technology, socialism. So if there are no rights, if there are no rights for um, intellectual property, then um, okay, whatever. Strangely done a little bit. Road building, car usage. Bus subsidies, bus usage. This is what all has an effect on unemployment, wages, productivity. Mm. I would like to increase uh, our technology level. Obesity. Secularity of education. 
A bitter battle has raged about the why, the why children are thought science versus religion scientists, and liberal consider it obvious that evidence-based evolution should be thought in science classes. Some religious groups feel that it is wrong to teach evolution of Darwinism as fact, when it remains an unproven theory that, or that criticism should be thought as an alternate theory in science. Okay, that's not not bad. The government has to decide what is thought in our schools. So science emphasizes secular, atheists, fundamentalists. Okay, I don't have to change that. Science funding. This is something I would like to do, and it costs us seven billion. How much? How much do we have? We have a deficit of 13 billion expenditures are 227 billion and income is 213 actually i would like still to decrease military yep degrees military then we should have less expenditures at least at the next one right So, this is one thing. University grants. I don't want to ban the tobacco. Tobacco usage. Oh, really? It would it would not go away if tobacco would be banned. Oh my God. Did I just, can I, did I just um, push away the tobacco ban? It's not good. Can I, can I somehow, uh, like, uh, do my wrongdoing back? Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, but can we redo that then oh we have lost 10 points oh my god we have just done a bad job right now i don't understand why we can't just redo that i mean it's not like we have already started a new round right okay um And we can't do anything at the moment. All right, just just let's go on then. Let's go on. So here's the summary of the current state of the nations. The GDP went up. Finally. Why, actually? <laughs> I wonder why. The health is still the same still same education is very high we should also increase our adult education subsidies and technology colleges education productivity would go up but at the cost quite a much quite much Okay, diesel emission scandal. Yeah, that, that is something we had in Germany, right? A scandal has been exposed, revealing that many of the largest and most prestigious car companies in our country have been blatantly lying about emissions from their diesel vehicles in a delib deliberate and very profitable scheme to cheat the official tests. How should the policy handle this incredible high-profile case? No, we are prisoning the chief of exe executables. Yep. That's what we are going to do. We are imprisoning the, the people who are behind cheating. There can be no doubt 
here that the people at the very top of these companies knew exactly what was going on and we have to 100% clear that in Germany the law applies equal, equally to everyone. Yeah, definitely. That's not the case at the moment. It will not be popular with the business owners, but to preserve our international reputation, we have to make an example of this of these cheats. Yep, more or less, right? This is what we sh what should have been done in the diesel scandal, prob probably, but um, nope. That was totally not the case. Oh, look at this. Our approval rate is going up a little bit. Our approval rate is going up a little bit. Well, air travel is going down. Oil, oil demand is going down. GDP is already 20% down. Not good. Not good. But we will see how we are going to improve that further. <laughs> improve that further. Income is quite down. Okay, we, we have to invest further in education. That's for sure. Our expenditures for military. Why is it still not totally down? Just want to have ceremonial only. Let's do this. Don't need that. Wait, we can't decrease it? It is already at zero, is it? Okay. That's at least something. Border controls. Citizenship tests. International trade. What is here actually going? Why is the EU membership red? They are not happy about something. 30%? It's just on 30% the whole time. environmental protests why are they going up i thought we are already doing quite a lot like oh but uh at the moment we just decreased oh wow 62 percent corporate exodus that is awesome uncompetitive economy yeah wait what Uncompetitive economy. Wouldn't it be better to just call it competitive a company and not doing this un un things? So what does it mean? If the uncompetitive economy is going down, it should be good, right? Because we want to have competitive economy, correct? Or am I wrong in this? Or am I wrong in this? Okay, so I would like still to um, do something for science, ideas, education. But we also have to take a look now what we are going to do with our expenditures. And I think it's quite problematic that they are rising. But if we are taking into account that we are at the period of um, global economic -y, economical um, degrees then this is actually the time what is this actually Barack Obama oh there's they were showing us where we are at the moment we are liberal capitalist we are liberal capitalist interesting actually we didn't do much at Till now by just just uh, decreasing the military spending so what, what do we have here I want to do more for the public sector oh look at this the transport transport girl doesn't like us let's go here she doesn't like us as well why her loyalty is going down All right, she doesn't want to work for us anymore, so let's see if we have someone better for this. Wait, what is it about? It is about um, transport. So we need some 
new one for transport. Yeah, how about how about here our Sabine is idle. She's very experienced, quite loyal, and if that she's not campaigning, it's not just a big problem, right? So alright, so let's fire her. And let's hire her. All right. Oh, what about her? Mona Ludwig is our counselor. I thought we are the counselor. What is that? What is going on here? Why does it? Why is it called counselor? Strange. All right. She's very unloyal as well, and we need some new person for the job for tax so who wants to be in tax annika wolf annika wolf would like to be in tax but she's not so experienced political capital 2.1 yeah let's take him i mean he wants to be actually in something else but um Let's take him. Olaf Stein. Olaf Stein. Olaf Stein, come on. You are now the new textman. Textman. You have experience with this. What is going on? Oh, because we're taking one, the others are maybe going not to be happy about that. Ooh, this is. This is then quite a, quite a difficult thing to do, right? Suitability. I didn't see that before, that there is a suitability thing. Alright, so maybe... Oh, I, I fired him, her already? That's not good. <laughs> then hire someone. What are we looking for? We are looking for welfare. She wants to be in welfare. She's not very experienced, but commuter trade unionist, religious. Hmm. Hmm. Why is she the most suitable for this job? How are they calculating that? Oh, look at the suitable welfare. Oh, I didn't see that before. Yeah, let's take her. Okay, that's that's fine for now. That's fine for now. What else? What else do we have? What is this actually? Healthcare vouchers. The big things are how much money we are spending on them, right? This is the point. So we are spending a lot on on education. And I think this is very important. But we also have to take a look now on how we are getting the money actually that we are spending. So do we have to increase some taxes? Actually I don't think that it is the, the best choice to increase taxes. We need just more smarter people, right? Arts subsidiaries. Adult education. Yeah, let's do adult ed education. That's what we're going to do now. How much does this cost? Eight power, really. Let's do this. Adult education. That's what we're going to do. Do we have some subsidiaries on cars or something? That would be good to decrease that. State energy company competition law, work safety law, technology grants, workers on boards, 
smarter meter program one organic farming subsidy labor day agriculture subsidies clean energy subsidies there's something that i would like to subsid subsidize but um business startup campaign this is what we have done right already didn't we yeah 127 million it's not much compared to the other things ban sunday shopping shall we ban ban sunday shopping actually i think this is a stupid ban really What does it mean? Is it banned at the moment? What does it mean? Low ban or what? The, the Christian religion generally recognized the Sabbath as a day of rest and many religious people believe that there should be no shopping carried out on that day. Some trade unions also believe that an enforced day of rest prevents its members being exploited. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. But it actually doesn't have much effect of anything. Just costs. We are not getting money for him or receiving it. Though it is a bit strange. Labor laws. Maternity leaves. Pollution controls. Recycling. Recycling is something important. recycling something important but at the moment we're actually I was thinking if we have some subsidies but um, sub cities what do we have of sub subsidies bicycles bus subsidies clean energy fate school subsidies new car subsidies this is something that I would like to do away actually i don't want something like that new cars are less strain on them what that's just stupid it's not true every new car increases actually the impact so telecommunication initiative Working from home, yeah, that is something that should be increased. Car usage is going down, productivity goes up, parents is going up. Computer are going down. Who are the computer actually? Commuter commute membership. It costs a lot of money. Cuts a lot of money though. All right, no, I would like to improve still education. What do we have with education? Everything that we have. Ban private education. Yeah, that's something I would like to do. To make sure that schools kids learn the right things and are not influenced by strange ideas, banning all private schools may be the right thing to do. Now that no more so-called elite schools exist, every kid has now the same chance to learn and become something great, boosting equality and equality in the process. As children for all classes and incomes Yeah, this is something I really wanna in insufficient capital. Capital of what? Oh, oh, we have just one left. Oh, okay. Just one left. So we can't do anything actually anymore. It's interesting we can't do anything again against private schools like a degree something with that but um 
Yeah, this is something that we have done. Art subsidies. Yeah, art is okay. What's this? Free school meals. Not only are free school meals a way of redistributing wealth by ensuring everyone can afford to feed their children, it's also a way to ensure that children eat healthier rather than surviving purely on junk food. Wow, it costs a lot. That costs a lot. Oh no, it costs already a lot. It's just decreasing by a little bit. Actually. Okay. Food Standards Agency. Public Libraries. Well. School Prayers. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> school Prayers. Oh my god. Funny. State Broadcaster. Oh my god. A state-owned broadcaster. Can we decrease that? Yeah. If they would do just news and not strange shows. That no one needs, actually. Education is going up with that. Foreign relations going up. Doesn't make sense for, to me. University grants. Actually, it would be better if university would be free for all. Stem cell research, yes. Science funding. It's already on 4 million and we can't raise it. But this would be, I think, something important. Okay, it appears like we can't change actually anything anymore, right? Yep. Selective schooling. Dedicated school. Separate neutral, dedicated, subsidized best schools. The government has to take a view on whether it is best that all students be educated together in the same classroom, regardless of ability, or if it is desirable to place the most talented students in their own classes, which teach faster, or maybe even have dedicated schools for those of the highest ability. Ooh, that is, that is interesting. No selection. Dedicated schools. Hmm. Education go, goes down if, if there's no, no separation. Interesting. That they are thinking that. Because we can, of course, discuss all the things which are talked here about, because not everything is probably right. Maybe I should go somewhere down with the cam. Let's, let's try somewhere here. Let's try down. I am a little bit smaller, but uh, <laughs> still interesting, I think. All right. What else? What else do we have? Abortion law. Executive term law. Oh, we can increase the term. Healthy eating campaign. No, it's not so important. I'm about schools at the moment. I'm about schools at the moment. Alright, let's go. Spreading fake news. Did it just say spreading fake, fake news? Look at this, our GDP is going up quite a lot. Finally.
finally our GDP is going up at least. Healthcare is still 83%. Education. I mean, it's strange that the education is already on 100%. I mean, we have still a lot to do with education, actually. Unemployment is going down. Very good. Crime is going down a lot. Poverty is going down quite a bit. Not bad. Gridlock. The traffic gridlock has now eased and average speeds are faster than a snail's pace again. So commuters and motorists will be very relieved. This also means learning to drive will no longer seem futile for our citizens. Okay, this is not, not good though. The major international credit agencies have downgraded the status of your government debt. This is something that we have to look on in future as well, right? The private, the private credit agencies in the world, which are basically just three. This is likely to have a knock-on effect on GDP as foreign companies become wary of investing in your economy. And it will also result in the interest rate we pay on our debt rising. There is a good chance this will upset our capitalist voters too. You should take action to regain credibility with the ratings agencies by reducing the level of debt as soon as possible. Your current credit rating is now A. Yeah, we should do that. That is not good that the debt is going up so much. But look at this, how the GDP has risen a lot more than the debt has going up. So I don't know why they are complaining so much. I don't know why they are complaining so much. Okay. Budget report, that's what we were taking a look at. Oh no, it's again closed. Here it is. The pools report. Oh, our approval ratings are, are going up. Oh, sorry. Approval rates are going up. Look at this. 17% approval rate. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good. The cabinet. The ministers are not very happy. I mean, the loyalty is most of them okay, but uh, it's not like very good. Wasn't she smiling at the beginning? When she was with us. She, but now she's not very happy. Now she's not very happy. Alright. I don't think that we have to... Fire someone again. Let's take a look how everything involves. Okay, we somehow have to decrease our expenditure, right? So I still I'm still going on the education part. Education. What do we have? Is that something we have on full, right? So this is something we can't increase. This is very good. This is very good. What else? Education. Oh, now I push it one more time. This is this part of education. University grants are at the top. So, generous grants. Although not all citizens will pursue a university education, governments can provide subsidies to students to encourage a more educated workforce. University grants also ensure equality of opportunities, as in their absence, the cost of university education can be beyond the reach of working class families. Yep. So this is something we are going to just to let it be on the highest possible level. The 
It's interesting how much it would still impact. I mean, but it is also 36 billion, so 6 billion more. Now let's let's go all in. Let's go all in so that we don't that we so that we know that we education is at the best as possible. Education at the best. What about the meals? Do we have the meals? Where was it actually about the meals? And science funding also. 7 billion. 3 billion more. This is the number of terms of inertia in this effect. So if the underlying value has changed, this shows how many turns it will take before the effect has been fully felt. It's interesting that science funding after 16 16 turns will not have very big impact still. And it is quite quite costly actually. Cell research. Yeah, let's do this, but we can't. We have we don't have impact anymore. What can we still do actually? Let's increase the preschool meals. Okay, let's go to the next round. All right, unemployment still wins, goes down. GDP still rising not so much but uh still rising health also on the rise can't see anything about the education unemployment goes down very good crime goes down very good wow look at this it's low goes down quite much actually poverty goes down a lot Also, alcohol will be used and so on. Um, so, keeping your promises and your principles, principles, what is that? Mi minus three. Trustworthy. We are not very trustworthy. The corruption goes up. Organized crime. The cri cryptocurrency adoption increases the, the organized crime. Hello. It's interesting. It's very, it's quite a political game actually. Narcotics. Should drugs such as cannabis and heroin be le legalized? Supporters supporters suggest that this is that it is the crime associated with the buying black market drugs that cause problems and legalizing legalizing narcotics will reduce crime opponents point to the health risks and say it will be giving into criminals what does it, what does it change legalize all drugs Whoa. look at this how much how much it would change that is just now oh, before we can do such things we have um Okay, retired General Carol Swinkle talks to us tonight about the shocking state of our armed forces. The level of our military spending is so pitiful, our armed forces are completely incapable of mounting a defense of the country, guns without ammunition, tanks without spare parts. Oh my god, that's so, so awful. We can't kill other people to protect ourselves. Against what? Okay, the GDP is not rising though anymore that much. And our deficit rating is really problematic. 
Our popularity is actually still on the rise, though. Still on the rise. Membership. Retired. State employees. Business confidence. The business confidence is quite going down. That was strange. We, we are increasing the GDP quite high. But... Um, Stability. <laughs> it's very... Private schools, minus 25%. Oh, the private schools are going down, that's good. Currency strength. CO2 emission is going down, all oh, good, look at this. Foreign relations are going up. Car usage is going down. GDP is still very far down, though. Is it because of me, actually, though? Because at the beginning it was already not very good. Where's the GDP here? What is that? Where's the GDP? Where can we see that? GDP. There it is. When did we start actually? Did we start here? We're almost back at where we were at the beginning. So... They shall not complain. Shall not complain. We have to spend more on technology and um, alcohol abuse is still going down. That is good. That is good. Compulsory foreign. To understand their language is the first important step to understand other people. Now let us finish up the education part. So we are now on education top. Or are we on education top? Why? What is this then? We need seven. Apply. Oh, I'm confused. Yes, we are... What? <laughs> what? Are we are we at the top now or not? Don't understand this. Hmm, I would like to spend more. So, we have university grants. State school, university grants, private schools. Technology colleges. So this is all top, right? This is top. University grants is top. Private schools, we can't do anything with them. Adult education is top. Technology colleges. Colleagues, technology colleagues are specialist schools with a focus on com computer literacy, bi biotechnology, and similar sub subjects. These state-run colleges receive special funding from central government in order to encourage a greater level of technology literacy amongst the future workspace. That is something we have to do. At education, technology, state employees, state employees. Yeah, whatever. Let's do this. Average temperature. Interesting. Okay, so technology call public libraries. Public libraries are really increasing something? I don't think so. I don't think that they are 
they have a big impact on anything. Okay, uh, prison regime. Liberals have the desire to rehab rehabilitate prisoners and to ensure they are capable of finding work and avoiding criminal activity on release. Conservatives see prison as a powerful deterrent where prisoners are punished for what they have done. Be punished for how they have done. Runa, hello, welcome back. How is the game going? It is very complex. I'm still trying to get into it, but step for step, it's it's um I'm getting to the point where I understand at least what we can do. Um which consequences it has. It's interesting. Very interesting. I think it's not very interesting to watch, but um but it is very interesting for me to uh to think about all the all the things that are here suggested. Very interesting. So for, for example, here we can decide if you want to give some uh, harsher prison regime or more gentle one. That's, that's a very interesting, important decision, right? For politics. What we all should think about why are there two different crimes? Crime, crime. How about yourself, Runa? Are you... Are you geo-guessing at the moment? Conservatives. Liberalism, education. So if we're going to this direction, we're increasing education, but it's gonna cost. I mean, this is difficult to say just by doing here something like a um, going to one direction or the other. Because it depends, right? What, what crimes are there? What does it really mean? It's not easy to say. Okay, prisoner team, arts subsidies. Is art also increasing the education? It is. Not very much, but a little bit. The foreign relation, tourism is increased. And liberalism, unemployment is going down a little bit. And it costs not very much, actually. I think this is something that is um, not realistic, because Usually, of course, in uh, in the real world, you do not have a maximum and a minimum in a way. Maybe a minimum, but not a maximum. You could spend on everything endless money and maybe there's not going to be any effect at all, right? By the way, how about our cabinet, actually? It's not very green, but it's maybe fine so far would be better actually to have more loyal people of course but oh look at this he has a lot of experience gained while he is with us all right so how can we improve what is it, science or something? Or technology? Science. Science funding? Yeah, let's increase science funding. Yeah, science funding. Particle accelerator. 7 billion. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. But we can do this at maximum. Electron microscopes. In some countries, the majority of research is funded by private companies. State-sponsored science can be useful for investing in very long-term research projects or those that may not be commercially rewarding. The benefits of state sector research are freely available to the entire population, population rather than patented by corporations. Yeah, I think this is something that we really have to do. Let's do this. For political power we need for that. 
So science, we have done that. What about technology? Technology. So technology. We have now the technology college colleagues. These are... Okay, so I think the next what we are going to do is stem cell research. And doesn't cost very much actually. Okay. I think we cannot do much anymore. Income tax. The income tax is at the moment forty four percent. What if we are going to increase it? Boom. 90% more. Wealthy. Poor earnings, middle earnings. Equality. Equality would go up, but not so much as the incomes would go down. Okay. Let's... Let's leave it this way. Entertaining foreign dictators. Okay, new round. How about our GDP? Our GDP is going up 69%. Nice. Health. Still going up. Education. Yeah, it's not seen. Unemployment. Still goes down, but not so much anymore. Crime. A little bit down. Okay, expand public rights of way. As we build more houses in our country, once open land that was used by walkers and hikers is increasingly becoming closed off and considered private property. Socialist campaigners have protested these changes are calling for an expansion of protected public rights of way. Private land is private land, regardless of whether it is farmland, industrial land or somebody's garden or yard. The idea that because people have taken a certain path for many years that they should continue to have the right to address priest pass on private properties is ridiculous. There are plenty of public roads and parks people can make use of. Yeah, I think um, I think this is nothing that we have to intervene. I mean, so much of our country is now private property that people's access to open countryside is varyingly restricted. Does it really matter to a farmer if a few walkers and hikers occasionally cross the land on a designated footpath? We should ensure that open countryside and footpaths are easily accessible to everybody. Yeah, but, but you want to really take, take the properties from them and this is nothing that I would like. The farmers are happy about that. All right. At least someone. Alright, our average approval is already on 62%. Wow. Look at this increasement. This is awesome. This is awesome. Cabinet report? Yeah, well, it's still not the best what's going on here, but... um. environmentalist how can we have some better people maybe here i don't know experience i mean it's interesting we really do not have um the fourth register card which is showing us here like suitability what we usually would see if we are going to um fire first a minister and then trying to get a new one right so don't think too much maybe about the ministers we are getting up we are really getting up with the popularity i don't know how much time we have oh we are on on the midterms we are actually halfway through 
halfway through. The wealthy people don't like us very much. The conservatives don't like us very much, but, um, well, that's life. The self-employed don't like us very much. Internet speed. How can we include the internet, internet speed by technology? What what has stem cell research to do with technology uh, with us uh, with internet speed? It's interesting. Okay, we are going to increase the stem cell research. That is something that we are definitely going to need. What twelfth political power? That's why we want. Can we research something else? Science funding. Yeah, let's do the science funding first. We are going to have some particle accelerators. Wait, how much? How much are we increasing by that? One billion. Oh, that's quite a lot. Why one billion is quite a lot. Let's go back. How much is going stem stem cells costing just four hundred thousand? So let's do this. We have to take a look on uh, our our expenditures. Maybe we can decrease a little bit our state pensions. How much do the retired like us? They retired like us too much, actually. They're like fanatics. The right to die. Although clearly punishing people for taking their own life is futile, the state often makes it a crime to assist in someone's early death, even if they are in great pain are, are, and are unable to carry out the act without help. Religions often take a dim view of suicide or those assisting in it, regardless of circumstances. I think everyone should have the right to uh, die when they want to die. It doesn't mean that everyone should die one uh, in every hard point in life, but um, I think everyone should have the right. All right. I mean, if you would be healthy, you could die anyway, right? In a way, so selective schooling. So how much we have just one left one um healthcare vouchers executive term abortion law health Respir respiratory disease interesting that this is rising here Tobacco usage. What? Why do we have tobacco usage? Actually, it's. Oh, I can't. Oh, we go, we would gain income. This is something that we are going to do the next. We are going to increase the tobacco tax. Yep, that's what we're going to do. That's what we are going to do. Tobacco. What about alcohol? Do we have tax on alcohol? Um, alcohol tax. Alcohol tax. Because I really would like to increase taxes on those things. And decrease the opportunity, the possibilities to make advertisement. But uh, let's go for the next one. Alright, here we go. Crime goes down. GDP still goes up. Look at this. Look at this, 72% GDP. We are just going up, friends. We're just going up. GDP is going up. Health, going up. Awesome. Education, yeah. Unemployment. Unemployment 
did not decrease so much. Still 31% unemployment. That's very high. Crime is going down. Look at this. Antisocial behavior is going down. Organized crime. Wait, organized crime is rising? Do I understand that correctly? Strange. Um, poverty. Poverty is decreasing. Not very much, but decreasing. Improved tenancy rights. There is currently a proposal to increase the rights of tenants in retained accommodation. The fear of being suddenly thrown out of your home or having your rent raised to unaffordable levels or waiting ages for repairs is making rented accommodations extremely undesirable and tenants are demanding something is done. So we could do keep current rights or improve tenants rights. Many people simply cannot afford a deposit to buy a house and are resigned to renting their whole lives. The lack of decent protection from random eviction or rent increase mean these people never have the peace of mind or the stability that homeowners enjoy. Landlords who take their duties seriously have nothing to fear from sensible improvements in law. Yeah, right, so this. The capitalists are not happy, not help, not happy, and the wealthy are not happy. It's not good, but um. Crime statistics are pleased to report that the extent of antisocial behavior in our nation has fallen considerably, and it is no longer a major cause of crime. Awesome. What about the budget? Oh, our our debt ratio, debt to GDP ratio has has gone down a little bit. That is very good. That is very good. Global economy. Look at this. The global economy is still going down. But our GDP is rising. This is what we want to see, right? This is what we want to see. And this is because we have education. We have education in our country. So that is what is going on. Huh? Huh? It's good. That is very good. The interest rates are still the same because of our rating. Income. Income is rising, right? Is it rising for our people? Okay. What's it all? What about the cabinet? Oh, look at this. She's not happy with us with us anymore as well. Oh, because she's actually very religious. And I'm not very religious in this... In this part. It's not very good that... Um, that we don't have... A very big loyalty with all the people. Campaigning. She's very bad at the moment and, and he is. But he's very experienced. And she is. But it means we don't have much uh, political power, right? Because we don't have so much... Um, Loyalty. Who would like to do the foreign foreign policy actually? Foreign policy. Well, but not very experienced. Let's try. Let's try this one. Foreign policy says desire job. Conrad Seidel. Okay, you don't want to do that anymore than Mr. Seidel. Who's that? Michael Boom. Didn't see him actually. Yeah, let's let's take him. 
Oh, public services are even going more down. Let's hire someone who is more suitable. Hilmat Siegler. Alright. Economy is going down again. What is wrong with you guys? What is wrong with you guys? Middle income, conservatives, socialist parents. Trample spotters, not happy. Let's go away. Man. Oh, the suit suitability for transport is not very high. Yeah, okay, let's let's do it this way. I'm not sure if we have improved anything compared to the beginning, but maybe we have. Maybe we have. Okay, what I wanted to do is tobacco. 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 Wait, what? Where is tobacco? How is it written? How is tobacco written? Tobacco. Top. What? Why? Why stability? What does that have to do with stability? X. Tobacco. It's called tobacco. Okay. Let's increase the tobacco. How much? How much can we increase? Thirteen. Let's do increase the tobacco. Yeah, that was actually not very important. Now, no, don't do that. We do need money. How much do we get? Two, One billion more. Everyone is going to be less happy. Why? I mean, the people who are not, uh, not smoking. Why should they be less happy about that? Doesn't make sense at all. Doesn't make sense at all. Right? All right. Let's increase our spending now. That is important. We are increasing our spending. For everything that has to do with uh, for everything that has to do with education, everyone. Who's everyone? <laughs> the religious. Gambling, gay marriage, gambling, we can't get anything from it. Organized crime, age limit, no stakes. What are we at the moment? Age limit of gambling, yeah. I mean, people should decide what, we, what they want to do if they want to gamble. But it would be good to have, actually, where's welfare? Something like... Gentle mutilation ban. Have we now everything in, in education? I'm not sure. Education. State schools. Yep. University grants. Yep. Private schools are doing whatever they are doing. Subsidies. Yep. Technology colleges. Yep, awesome. Public libraries. Yeah, well. One billion. It costs one billion. It's not really, really increasing anything, but right? Quality. And the retired are going to be happy. It's just one billion more than now. Hmm. Hmm. Prison regime. 
It's interesting that the prison regime has an impact. Compassionate. Wait, the crime is decreased or is it increased? It doesn't... How does it work? Crime. Are there two different crimes? But it costs money. Balanced, harsh. I mean, it costs, it costs us just 100 million and the education is going to rise. So, let's do that. Erasmus program, but we can't do anything about that, as it appears. Charity. Charity. Arts. Arts is also kind of... Yeah, but not much, actually. But it costs not very much. Let's do that. Let's do that. The food price. Water industry. Let's go back to education. So family planning. Family planning has an impact on education, really. What does it mean? What do we have here? Implement a program of family planning to improve sexual health in your country. Typical services include education, medical advice, and contraceptive distribution. This program will enable individuals to plan the number and spacing of the children. Family planning empowers women and reduces the number of babies born into poverty. Babies born into poverty. This sounds this sounds a little bit strange. This sounds a little bit strange. Parents. Does it mean we would have less parents? What does it mean? We would have religious. We would have less religious people. Oh no, they would be not happy about that. Conservatives would be not happy about high family planning things. I don't know. I don't care. It increases education. Not much. It costs not much. So that was it, right? What can we do the next time? Family planning. Foreign language. Yeah, maybe we should do that next time. It doesn't cost it much at all. Foreign investments, tourism. Yep, yep, yep. That's what we are going to do. All right. Let's take a look. Runo asks, can we play Sea of Thieves next Friday or next Monday? I will. Ch we will check. As I said, I really want first to try out if I'm able to stream Sea of Thieves at all, because if not, um, it's not going to be possible to do that on stream at least, but it would be great if, it, if we can do that, right? So I will try it out. And um, I think I will try it out um, maybe on Wednesday. I can try it out because I have to work on Monday, and then and and then I'm gonna tell you if it's p possible because this would be good, right? So we can tell, we can figure it out on on Wednesday if it is okay to you. This would be that would be great actually, if we can do that. Well, look at this, our GDP has risen one more time, four percent. So not so bad, not so bad. We are almost. At the point where we started before we have taken anything unemployment is rising why why is unemployment rising that's not good and the poverty is rising wow very much actually 
foreign neighbor nuclear missile test. Oh, okay. Developing nuclear weapons remains the benchmark for global military re rele relevance. A neighboring is isola isolationist nation has tested a missile in its nuclear po program near to our border. Okay, interesting. Our credit rating upgraded. Look at this. Awesome. The major international credit agencies have increased the credit worthiness of your government. This is great news. It should result in lower interest rates for our debt and also may result in a boost to GDP from a higher level of confidence by foreign investors. This news is also likely to please capitalist voters. Your current credit rating is now AA. Awesome. Business confidence is a lot risen. This is very good. The income is rising as well. But the debt, the debt is still quite high, but um, our GDP is also very high. Wow. What has happened? The people don't like it at all. Oh, it is because probably because of the testing, of the military testing, and we don't have military anymore at all. So this is probably the the problem. This is probably the problem. But I'm not sure. The approval is just 36%. Voting probability 79%. Activism. Focus group. Opinion of common. Moderately unhappy. This is just one person which we are looking on right now. Wow. Slightly unhappy. Slightly unhappy. Who are you? Anthony Siegler. Oh, of course. Of course. What is this? Okay, the crime has decreased. 30% less crime. Isn't that awesome? The lifespan has increased. 27%. Wow. Private schools, business confidence, still quite down. International trade has increased 30%. Wow. Currency strength, strength has decreased. Car usage. But actually, it's again going up currency strength so that's good foreign investments has gone up actually just the very bad things has going down yeah but business confidence of course crypto energy adoption M middle earnings Democracy. Democracy has gone up 2%. Hmm? What do you think? Genera generational wealth gap has risen. It's not bad. Technology has risen by 2%. It's not so much. And the unemployment has risen. Tobacco usage has gone down. Mental health is going up. Good. Plant based diet is going up. Very good. Population has gone up. Wow, interesting. The food price has gone up. It's not so good. Poverty has gone down. Wages has gone down. Okay, I would like to know why the people are not so happy still. The environmentalists were very happy for a long time. But now they're not so much. Because we're not doing maybe enough, right? Maybe it's the point. Because we are maybe not doing enough. The poor are quite happy. State em state employees. Retired are not so happy. Everyone is not so happy somehow. 
Okay, I think we're going now to, uh, coming now to a turning point. Wait, we wanted to do something for education still. Foreign languages. Yep, this is what we're going to do, definitely. Yep, foreign languages. Then. What else? Arts. State broadcaster. Straight broadcaster thing is very, very a difficult thing. The capitalist. Capitalists don't like state broadcasters. I wonder why. Technology. Technology has an impact on education. Interesting. Okay, but I think we have the, the most, the biggest impacts on education we already have at the maximum. So I think our education part is now finished. Yeah. Yeah, but, but public libraries. Public libraries provide a number of services, acting as a focus of communities, providing access to information and literature to choose to those on low incomes and enabling people to learn new skills outside the normal education establishment. Maybe it is the, the case in the game, but actually it's not really the case. I mean, I don't think that that public libraries help at all in the times of internet, right? Hmm. But it increased the education quite a lot, so let's do that. That is going to be our last point about education. That's our it's going to be our last point with education that we can do. Alright. Okay, the cabinet ministers are okay, not the best, but okay, but okay, right? Election report. To get a party party. Fan fanatically supportive. Not many, not many very fanatically supportive, but... Um, Activists boost to voter turnout. What is this? Members. Look at this, how many members do they have? Activists. We have just 45,000 activists. They have 2.5 million. Wow. Manifesto promises are optional but if you need a last minute pre-election boost making grandiose claims to the electionary might be a good idea be warned that if you do get re-elected you will be punished by the voters if you break the promises okay speeches speeches can be made in turns leading up to the election the positive news is that such speeches can gather support from voters groups without you actually having to make any real proposals or promises the bad news is that each sound bite you pick will probably upset some voters as well as making some happy so choose your sounds bits wisely all right fundraising raising raising funds for your election campaign is done partly through activists and partly through wealthy donors activists join and leave over time based on your actions Big donors work the same way, but you are able to gorge their mood here and maybe head off losing a big donors before they get too mad. Top party donors, Alexander Schaefer. Sympathies to the poor. 
generosity 93%. The fundamental rights, members, donors. I don't have many members. Why don't we have members? Helmut Schmitz. Mm. Okay. We have quite a lot of people in the state state sector actor actually. The conservatives don't like us very much. The retired still do like us. The poor are quite happy. And the state and employees. We have quite a quite a social socialist socialist uh quite a socialist um state. Interestingly. All right, so we have done the part with education. Now we'd like to improve technology or science or something. Science or technology, what is it? Science funding. Oh, we should have that, right? Already? Yeah. Okay, so technology. What is about technology? Technology. I don't understand still the, the part about intellectual property rights. So, establish the protection of innovative ideas by granting their creators a period of monopoly of, for their use. So what are we doing by that? That is decreasing what? Is decreasing the, the property rights? And this is increasing the property rights. This would increase our technology. Mm. <laughs> hey. The capitalists like those things. No, we are not trying to change anything there. Stem cells. Oh, we are not at the top at the moment. Why? Do the stem cells. We are... Wait, what? Oh, it is still not totally implemented. That's what it means, right? I think. Science funding is there. Yeah, I think this is what it means. We are still rising. Because our Hilma Siegler is not so effective. Okay, interesting. Okay, this is it. This is everything that we have for technology. Not much actually, right? All right. How are we going on now? So we have full education in a way. Education. Yeah. And technology. So this is, I think, the basic thing that every society needs. In a way because education is the key but now we should go on and try to improving the quality of life and productivity actually as well German culture German culture is <laughs> productivity what working week working week Hmm, wages. Why are, how are wages actually? The wages are going down a little bit. The labor laws. What can we do here? Labor laws are basically restrictions on workers' right to strike. Capitalists argue that such restrictions are vital to prevent key workers, such as power station workers, policemen and train drivers, from holding the country to ransom. Trade unions consider the right to strike to be fundamental and not open to ne negotiations. Negotiations. Pro-employer, pro-union. Mm. Okay. 
Interesting. At least it's definitely interesting. I wouldn't change anything at the moment here. Labor laws. They're actually not very much um, having an impact on everything else. Immigration. Immigration demand. Illegal. Ill illegal immigration. So immigration demand. The immigration demand is it rising? No, it's sinking. Stability. Refugee policies. Most countries accept that they have a moral responsibility to take migrants from disaster zones or war zone countries, but there is a strong debate on how loose these restrictions and limits should be, especially if climate change and other factors lead to a large rise in global refugees. So there, there it is. We should do something about the causes, not about the symptoms, right? So what should we do now? What what problems still do we still have? Um, we have still some crime organization. Organized crime. We have still quite a high deficit. We have still quite a high deficit. The wealthy. What do the left healthy like? They're definitely not very happy about us. Corporate tax, solidarity tax. Oh, look at this. Wow. The healthy would hate us if we are going to increase the solidarity. A top up to income tax that is particularly for Germ to Germany and which was introduced to help cover the costs associated with the reunification of East and West Germany. Yes, that's still for still impact. And the need to upgrade infrastructure throughout the East. Okay, that is not very important though at the moment to us. What issues do we still have? Car tax. How can we get more more uh members because we st now um actually more tourism would be not bad right welfare economy city farms many people would love to buy fresh produce from from farmers directly but living in the city this is often a hassle to drive out to the countryside so why not bring some farmers to the cities directly? This program helps ambitious farmers to establish farms in, our, in or around cities so they can be close to their customers and will get some of the city kids to consider a career in farming. Interesting. How much does it cost? And they're just actually beneficial effects. So farmers would like it farmers membership would go up maybe this is something important to us as well and it would cost not much actually let's do this yep. let's do this but this is actually it the more we can't do more we can't do How does this income tax actually work? So one of the most pop popular ways to raise money for government is direct tax on people's earnings, deducted at source by their employer. 
income tax is generally a progressive tax. The wealthy pay more as a fraction of their income than the poor. And for this reason, it is popular with socialists and the low paid. Middle income. Equality. Socialist. Capitalist. We can't do a lot at the moment with... Um, with decreasing taxes. But I would like actually to increase the tobacco. But this is something they don't like. Tobacco? It's called tobacco. Tobacco usage. Tobacco, what is it? Tobacco tax. We can increase it. Oh, we need a lot. A lot of power to, to increase the tobacco. And everyone would hate it. Wow, this is, this is so strange. Despite the failure of tobacco companies to admit it, there's a good reason to believe that smoking has negative effects on, on health. Oh, really? Strange. This is used as a justification for taxing tobacco. Cynics point out that the government benefits hugely from a tax on a product it is supposedly against. Health companies encourage the tax as a way to encourage a more healthy population. Yeah, I think this is this is somehow not really realistic. I mean, look at this. If they would increase the tobacco tax, right? I mean, why is everyone against it? How could this be? I mean, do I have just smokers in my in my German country here? Isn't it strange? It it would it would decrease equality. Why would it de decrease equality? Because just the rich could afford to smoke. Very strange. I think it is very strange. Look at this! How much income that would come come from that? Hmm. Microgeneration grants. These grants are given to citizens to help subsidize the cost of energy microgeneration systems, such as solar panels and wind turbines. This is a good way to take advantage of some people's desire to make a personal step towards greener and greener energy, and it will increase the country's overall energy efficiency. How much does it cost? Cost 1.6 just 500 more energy efficiency energy industry environmentalists the energy industry is not happy about that that's interesting that's interesting that's interesting let's increase it yep so, we have done everything we can in this round. Let's go on. Oh, the GDP is sinking. Oh, this is not good. 4%, actually quite a lot. What about the health? Health is rising again. I didn't know that it was decreasing, actually. Unemployment? Yeah, it's stagnating. Crime? Still quite high. 32% poverty. Yeah. It's okay. Ban animal testing. A proposal to ban all animal experimentation has been placed. Oh, sorry for that. Has been placed before government by pressure groups. We currently have quite a few people working in industries that use animal testing, but it's also a highly unpopular practice. Ban it. In this day and age, there is no good reason to test any products on animals, especially cosmetics. The practices used are often incredibly cruel and a ban would have widespread public support and little real impact on industry. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, the GDP is going down 2%. Wow, that's quite a lot. Unemployment is going up. Compassionate is going up. Environmentalists are happy. This is something. 
the trustworthy is going down. Why? Corrupt because corruption is rising? What? Okay. It's not good that the GDP is, is sinking. That's, of course, problematic. The debt GDP ratio is under 100% at least. That is okay. It would be better if we are going down. Oh, I mean, the global economy is going down a lot. So actually, look at this. I mean, this is just... This is just uh, something, right? All right. We need to reduce spending or rise taxes. Yeah. That is not a good value. It's very bad. Somehow the people are not happy suddenly. I wonder why. Yeah, because of the Niber nuclear test, maybe, but I don't know. Or maybe because of the prison regime change, because it's quite a big change, maybe. All right, so what do we have? What do we have now? Let's take a look actually here. Border Navy. No. I think tourism ad would be nice. I don't like the ads. It should be more like our country should be good by itself. Right? Tobacco awareness campaign. Tobacco users would go down and would not have any much wider impact on anything. Yeah, let's do this. What it costs? How much does it cost? It cost, doesn't cost any willpower. Any power, really. But it costs, um, yeah, well, 50 million. Yeah, let's do this. Food stamps, economy, carbon caption storage, national business council, young entrepreneur scheme. This sounds good. Tax, junk food tax, plastic bag tax, automation tax. Interesting. Technological innovation has led to brilliant invent invent inventions. The dark side of industrial and automation is that it is leading to job loss. Less jobs mean less income. To make up for this loss in state income, the economy ministry has designed an automation tax to be paid by the most advanced companies. No. No, not yet. <laughs> what about plastic? Plastic bag tax. The capitalists would be not happy about. Junk food tax. Health food subsidies. I think I'm very about the uh, young entrepreneur scheme. The young are not happy about us at the moment. The young should be happy. Young are important. So those are new, new policies. I didn't know that. I didn't know that these are new ones. Drug treatment scheme, free eye tests. Free parenting classes. Having a newborn child can be very taxing and exhausting for new parents. By introducing the 
these free classes, parents can learn how to deal with this situation, how to raise their babies and have a normal life at the same time. It won't make the babies cry less, but it will make the parents more stress resistant and aware. Plus, they will meet other parents in the same situation. Interesting. The Youth Policy Council. In any dem democracy, it is of almost importance to teach our kids how politics work and what can be achieved through it. By establishing youth politics councils, youth can get first-hand experience. I would actually first make young entrepreneur scheme. The scheme is to help and support young people who are aiming to become businessmen in the future by giving them opportunities to learn from veterans and detailed information about what to do. It's exactly great. This will in increase happiness amongst capitalists as they see their future secure. Yeah, well, but... Um, I mean, what what are the socialists thinking here, if, if we are asking like that? We need people to make business, to make income for everyone, right? So... Oh, it costs. It costs 136. Yeah, let's do that. Young Policy Council. Economy. International trade. This is something. This will become easier now as potential trade partners are listed here and make offers to themselves. This is awesome. This should something increase. It doesn't cost any power. With the establishment of trade council, this will become easier now as potential trade partners are listed here and make offers themselves. This will increase international trade and boost the economy. Yeah. Let's do this. But it is still costing. Strange. Alright, let's do the next round. The GDP is still going down. That's not good. 64% more. Popularity with voters. 50%. What is this? Wait, what? What is happening here? The unemployment rate is going up very much. This is not good. The crime still more or less the same. Health is going up actually. That's good. Poverty is going down more or less. Yeah, this is bad. We are again over our uh, spending. That is very bad. We shouldn't do that at Actually, tonight, angry cl classic car salesman. Yeah, what, whatever. Classic cars salesman. Budget report. Oh, the GDP is going so down so much. That is not good. We have to save at least a few billions. A few billions. The pools are still not very good. Oh wait, it's not so bad actually. We are at 49%, 48%. It's not so bad. I mean, the others are just at 13%, right? So this is not bad, actually. It's better than I thought. It's better than I thought. Okay. So what next? Let's take a look. I would now still try to improve um, small business grants, something like that. Foreign investor tax breaks. What is this? Special tax breaks given to large foreign owner multi multinational companies to encourage them to invest in you in our country special tax breaks this could include tax free periods introductory rates of corporate tax and straight 
subsidies to encourage investment. Helps to encourage investment from overseas but will be seen as incredibly unpatriotic and pandering on the whims of huge foreign capitalists. Okay. High earnings. Potential income none. Robotic search grants, technology, trade units, industrial and automation. So it would probably boost our uh, productivity, productivity, but um, small business grants. The failure rate for small business is very high. In the early years of trading, a preventing government grant can be an enormous help to get a new enterprise off the ground. This can lead to a big boost to the economy, but it can also be an expensive policy with no guarantee of good results. That's true. But I think this is very good. But it costs a lot. And we have to do something about income. Why can't we introduce taxes? Why do we have just two left? Have I changed anything? Can I see what I have changed this in this uh in this round? What is it that we have changed in this round? Oh, because we have just pushed the button implement, we have already increased the co uh, it's already costing something. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Witness protection transport carpooling campaign. Estimated popularity 31%, 41%. Our heroes no. Witness protection program. Mm. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look. What can how can we improve um still the GDP or something? That would be interesting and important. Productivity. So we have to improve our productivity. And for this we can and need technology. Year. Oh, so with the years it increases automatically. Interesting, right? We have already a very big technology. Payroll tax. A tax levied on employers in proportion to the salaries paid to the employees. Easy to collect and hard to avoid, but can act as a disintegrative to employment. Wait, what? A tax levied on employers in proportion in proportion to the salaries paid to employees. It's a very strange tax. Don't understand it. So the people are paying, the employers are paying more taxes depending on how many employers they have or how big the salary of the employers, employees are. Doesn't make any sense. I don't understand it. Wait, what? What is this? Corporation tax. Actually, I'm not so much about um, having big, big taxes on companies.
un uncompetitive un economy. If you're going to send the cooperative taxes, we need 12. Interesting. The wealthy would be happy about that. Socialists would be not. Interesting. Technology grants. Oh, we still don't have the, the highest on... on grants. How is this actually finances? Oh, this is where is the most money coming from. Okay. So I think this is maybe value influence yeah that's interesting that's how much influence the gdp has on everything yeah what is this policy popularity interesting influence The help has has quite a big impact as well. Also on productivity, interesting. Wasn't there something like an idea about um, cyberbullying awareness? A program of adverts on TV to warn parents and teachers to look out for signs the children are being bullied online so that the problem can be spotted. Keep the country tidy campaign. A campaign in popular media designed to make people feel guilty about littering. Designed to feel people guilty. This only works if people are being seen. But guilty cons coincidence will also work when someone is alone, thus making it far more effective in long term. Estimated popularity with voters. It's very popular. Popular, popular, not so popular. Yauf, youth policy conceals. An enemy democracy. I think this is very important as well. By establishing youth policies, consists youth can get first-hand experience on local and regional levels, see that they can make a difference, and perhaps the leaders of tomorrow are being recruited here. This is nice. I'm gonna do that. The youth is gonna be happy about that, so let's do that. All right, so here we go. Spreading fake news. GDP is going still down. Wow, oh my God, just 55%. What does this mean? Resources obsolete. Maybe I haven't read the last report. Good enough. Oh, this is something new. Global demand has fallen for the minerals extracted from our national mines. Better alternatives have been found to replace our resources and manufacturing processes. The only way of incentivizing their use is to slash prices and revenue with it. GDP lost by 8%. Whoa. Whoa. And the deficit is going up. <laughs> To 110% already. That's not good. It's not good. But the approval rating has increased. Oh, strange. People. GDP is going down, but. Okay. Okay. 
economic forecast. Unfortunately, it seems that the global economy, economy is deep recession and our GDP is several reduced as a result. Yeah. Deep recession. Look at this. The global economy is just as the, at the almost lowest point. So it's not so surprising probably that uh, that we are doing so bad. With our GDP as well, that's what I meant. The invisible hand. The invisible hand threat is going up. Who is the invisible hand? Wire tapping. What is what is what is going on here? Arm pulse is fire limb. Firearm laws. Strict total ban. Yeah, that would be nice. This would be nice. No limit. Violent crime, crime, liberal. The liberal and patriots would be totally against it. Popularity of Walters would be very nice. Very low. ID cards, what is this? ID cards. Some say ID cards act as a powerful deterrent against terrorism and other serious crimes. But liberal would argue that it is that it is an infringement of individual civil liberties for the state to demand the citizens identify themselves on the spot. Okay. But I can't change anything here. Huh? Oh, I can. What? I can just rise it right away to, to 20? What is this? What is this? No, I don't like in intelligent services. Just go down with it. Liberals. Organized crime would decrease. What? Internet crime would decrease. Organized crime. Oh no, it would increase. It was increased. Okay. Spy satellite network. High tech spy service. Okay, whatever. You're not you're not doing that at the moment. Wiretapping. Police drones, press freedom. The freedom of the press is the freedom of communication and ex expression through electronic and published media. It is closely linked to freedom of speech, which is the fundamental human right um, to communicate opinions and ideas uncensored. Curtailing press freedom negatively Wait, do we still have big legs in the stream? And no one is telling me. Is that really going on? I think it is, right? Okay, I'm not sure, but... um. I will have to take a look. On the recordings okay whatever I don't want to do change anything here so mm, what do we have Wh why can't we implement it the border. <laughs> Why can't we implement the border wall? Citizenship for sale, drone strike act. What is this drone strike? Foreign investment restrictions. International fusion research project. This is nice. But we need twenty-five national service nuclear weapons. No, don't need nuclear weapons. Winter fuel subsidy, food stamps.
I mean, food stamps would improve actually a lot, interestingly. Food stamps is a system where status will issue vouchers or stamps to those citizens on low or on no income. Mm. I would actually like to do this robotics research grants because we really have to get the better uh, productivity so that we may have again a better GDP, right? Drug Enforcement Agency. A specialist team of police experts, police experts trained to deal with the very specific demand of enforcing our nation's restrictions on narcotics. No. Unexplained wealth orders, a break with the normal assumption of innocence until proven guilty. Unexplained wealth orders allowed prosecutions where a wealthy individual cannot explain where their wealth comes from. Controversial but an effective policy against career criminals who are clearly providing, prof profiting from crime but have covered their tracks well. Okay. Transport. What do we have about transport? Con congestion charging. In many large cities, the number of cars traveling in each day is simply unsustainable. Although a fairly blunt instrument, simply charging through number plate recognition, every vehicle that enters the city each day has proven to be an effective way to reduce congestion extreme cases. Hmm. State airline. Fuel efficiency standards. Okay. Interesting. Okay, public services. CO2 campaign. Government can pass laws and make spending plans, but it can also tackle the issue of climate change by actively urging its citizens to reduce their emissions voluntarily. A public inf information campaign can persuade citizens to the waste to not waste energy, to choose environmentally friendly products, means of transport, and even to eat less meat. This would be very popular. Interesting. But actually we have to do something about taxes at the moment. Ban cryptocurrencies. Everything its supporters love about cryptocurrencies. Government hate. <laughs> is it really? A hard to tax and track currency that is perfect for cyber criminals. Yeah, that's perfect for cyber criminals. And it wastes energy on a colossal scale. Depends on the cryptocurrency. It's volatile also means that this injects instability into the economy. Also, reasons government might use to justify a ban. Should we ban it? Diverted profits tax. What is that? A tax levied on estimates regarding large companies' profits earned in this country, regardless of their actual reporting. This is used to prevent multinational companies from claiming that they all of the profits they earn are somehow only generated in a tax haven, with little or no corporate tax. By using cunning accounting trickery, the tax is mostly designed as an incentive to push such companies to play by the spirit as well as the letters of the law. The foreign relations would go down, the capitalists would not like it, Enterprise Investment Scheme The Enterprise Investment Scheme is a system which gives tax breaks to wealthy individuals who invest their money in small startup companies which are based in this country. This is interesting. The scheme encourages investment in companies which should eventually grow and stimulate the economy, whilst at the same time giving a popular tax break to people who invent, invest in them. Obviously, indirect, the scheme is being subsidized by those without saving 
savings to invest. Obviously, indirectly, the scheme is being subsidized by those without saving to invest. Frequently flyer tax. GDP would really go down. Why, why should it go down? I mean, just because people can't, would have to pay more for traveling, doesn't mean necessarily that it would go uh, junk food tax. Not very popular. The health would go up, the poverty, poverty would go up. Because, like, people in poverty are more eating more like packaging tax. Let's let's get some packaging tax. Why not? Everyone, everyone in income would don't like it, and GDP would go down because of packaging tax. Plastic bag tax. Plastic tax. Recreational drugs tax. In societies that have legalized drugs such as cannabis and psychedelics, there is a temptation to tread consumption of these drugs as a source of government revenue. Given the claims that their consumption should be potentially discouraged due to negative effects on citizen health, in a similar way to government tax and alcohol or tobacco. What? <laughs> okay, I think we should do a, a packaging tax. But why would it decrease the GDP? I mean, it's not, not, not totally true in a way, right? I think we are doing this in the price investment scheme. Yep, let's do this. It is a new one, so we can choose how much we want to spend on it. Two billion spending on that. What is high earnings? The effect, effective income of the top earners in society. It is easy to reduce this by punitive taxes on the wealthy. Okay. So high earnings are going up. Socialism is going down. But we need people who are investing. Oh wait, did we implement it already yet? No? I don't understand it at the moment. At the moment, I don't understand. It would increase our income finally at 3%. 3%. How much would it be of 200,000 billion? 200 billion. 3%. Ah, let's do this. Was there something like... Um, oh. I still don't implement the food stamps, interesting.
Wait, we still don't implement the trade console? What? How can this be? I thought we did it already three or four things ago. All right, let's do this then. Okay. Oh, what is here actually going on? She's not happy with us at all here. Our security experts are concerned about the potential security threat from an extremely well-founded shadow leak organization comprised of a various wealthy industrialists called the Invisible Hand. Interesting, yeah. Okay, she's not happy with us at all. Go then. Okay, let's check him. All right, let's. Oh, what can we do? We can do more. We can do more. I would like to still increase the. The GDP somehow. International trade. Foreign aid. Some foreign countries have very poor e economies, poor education or food shortages. It can be argued that relatively rich nations such as ours have more a moral duty to help them. Others may argue that the first priority of any nation is to its own citizens, and if those citizens wish to help, they can do it individually through charities. Here's the point. Um, it is going to, always going to be beneficial for any country to try to help those countries which are in need, because this was is going to ensure that in future you're going to have uh, like other countries who are able to wow look at this wow. how who are able to buy your products actually right the patriots don't like us at all but it is it's not important Okay, at the moment I would like to, to improve somehow our GDP point, right? So let's go back a little bit. Foreign investment. How can we improve foreign investment? Stability, intellectual property rights, democracy. Democracy is improving foreign, foreign investment. Well, stability, intellectual property rights, democracy. Hmm. Okay, let's go with this round. Finally, finally, GDP is rising. 58%. Are we doing that again against all odds. Health is on the same level, quite high. Education as well. Unemployment is sinking again, that is good. 
crime, sinking, poverty, 16%, it's going up actually, strange. What, the, the, the credit rating is going down further. Your credit rating is now BBBB, triple B. It is bad, this is very bad. You should take action to regain credibility, yeah. This is very bad. I mean, our debt is rising and rising. It's very bad. But our income is now also a little bit higher, so at least something. Um... Election report. Our party is getting more popular in the last quarter. We added 500,000 new NAM members and 91,000 new activists. Wow, really? That is something. That is something. Oh, there are already campaign speeches available, really. Let's go first back. Only 27 of them, of them intend to vote for you. The government is not popular amongst it. Oh wait, the current value is just... So it is just 27%. But why is it saying 55 then? How does it work? Do we have to go to... To where? Approval distribution. Don't understand that. I don't understand that. Okay. The international trade has risen a lot. Charity has been decreased. Generation wealth gap has increased. Internet speed has increased by 1%. Woo. <laughs> Woo. How much? How many rounds do we have now? Three turns towards the ne next election. Each turn takes three months. This bar shows progress towards the next election. Three turns. Just three turns left. Wow. That's not so good. The deficit is very high. The deficit is very high. And the problem is, we are on a downtrend in the economy, right? <laughs> and we are still spending quite a lot. Unfortunately, it seems that the global economy is deep recession and our GDP is severely reduced. Actually, we are... We are rising, actually. Oh, but the, the global economy is rising as well, so maybe we are gonna have some... some luck. And our GDP is severely reduced as a result. Some concerns. Oh, our our cabinet is quite nice, quite nice actually. Not the worst. She's not very happy. She's a liberal. He's okay. How can he build an environmentalist and a conservative at the one same time? Interesting. The 
So friends, what do I, what are we going to do next? Legalized sex work, corruption, crime, gambling, obesity. GDP has a negative effect of an environment. This is interesting. Internet crime has a negative effect on GDP. What else? Petrol tax, payroll tax. Gambling has a positive effect on... What about legalizing sex work? Conservatives claim that the legalization of prostitution would make a severe decline in family values. Others claim that as that as prostitution is unlikely to disappear, even if illegal. It's better for social society and sex, worker, sex workers that the practice is regulated and monitored rather than criminalized. Right? The religious would, would not like it at all. GDP would go up a little bit. Interesting. <laughs> the capitalist would like it and the self-employed. Interesting. Liberalism. Hmm. What else? Corporate exodus. The corporate tax is still quite high. Uncompetitive economy. Is it how faster it goes, then more impact it has? Look at this. Produ producti productivity, it goes very fast to So productivity really um, Is the productivity at the moment at minus 38% or does it mean? I don't think so Actually we have We are very good everything, everywhere what is this? Tele tele telecommunic telecommunic commuting initiative. We did not increase it till the the, the biggest point. Technology grants are not are not up as well. But it also costs a lot and we don't have much money at the moment. So the thing is, can we somehow improve the GDP without um, increasing the taxes, probably, right? I wonder, I wonder why is leg legalizing, legalizing uh, sex working is not giving us income. I mean, how, do we don't have taxes on that then? Should be, right? Actually. How about our health? Our health is quite high. Okay, let's take a look on some ideas we may have. Tourism, 
Border Navy Welfare. We still don't have the food stamps, by the way. State housing. Some citizens prefer to own their own homes, homes, but the cost of housing is such that a large proportion of the population population live in rented accommodation. State housing is provided at a reduced rate to those who cannot afford to pay the market rate. This cannot be expensive to fund. Can be expensive to fund, but the social benefits are also significant. Private housing would be go down. Poverty would go down. Capitalists would go down. There would be maybe even a potential income. What was that? Ban coal. Tax shelters. By not fully taxing the wealth of the super rich, tax shelters can be a great way to encourage successful entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs to make our country their home. With an ever shrinking world, the rich are free to settle wherever they please. Encouraging them to live here may mean that they spend their wealth in this country. Such measures can be very unpopular with the poor, who resent paying tax on their much lower earnings. What? Vertical farm subsidies. Unemployment would go down, farmers would like it, food price would go down, capitalists don't like it. Traffic congestion would go down. But we cannot spend much money now. Would this improve um, GDP? I mean, doesn't say anything about the GDP. But the tax shelters would improve the GDP. But how, but how much, right? This is the question. Religious banknotes. This policy allows for the use of religious phrasing or iconography on banknotes and coins. A powerful way to remind citizens that re religion is a big part of their lives. No. No. It can be. And it's fine if it helps, but, um, people. But it's not something that should be very, uh, improved in a way. Empty homes tax. Interesting. The retired would not like that. Interesting as well. Unfortunately, some wealthy people in our society try to avoid taxes, illegal tax evasion methods. By making tax returns public, people can now check if someone is using loopholes or abusing the system. This full disclosure will encourage support of the system, as well as reducing the tax evasion and forcing everyone to be able to justify their income. Punitive tax on superstores. Stores. Superstores may be convenient for our citizens, but they have many negative effects. They encourage car journeys rather than supporting local shops, and their dom dominance in is encouraging a society dominated by big business with no room for the small family-owned store. They should be taxed to reflect the harm they do to the fabric of our society. Well, wouldn't say so. The Climate Change Adoption Fund. Global warming has led to increasingly frequent severity of natural disasters. The Climate Change Adoption Fund finances large-scale projects from dams to weather satellites, from reforest reforesting to water reservoirs. It might be expensive, but environmentalists far more affordable. But environment environmentalists and farmers call for this policy. It costs so much money. 
and it's not increasing the GDP. Keep kite organization. Public religious progress reforestation. Regulate social media. Nope. School vouchers. What are school vouchers? A measure designed to encourage growth of private schooling. While it's still enabling everyone to afford an education, school vouchers are issued by the state to parents for each child which they can be spent in the private sector. This is a different approach to pure state schooling because with school vouchers the schools are privately run and the teachers are no longer state employees. That is, that is actually an interesting question. Should it be more state run or should it be private school run? Poverty would go down. Social justice funding. A state owned and run postal service can make sense because it is a natural monopoly and one where universal services obligation deliveries to all addresses for the same cost is generally preferred. The postal service is also a large creator of employment. Hmm. State wonder company. Yelf club. Free yelf clubs ensure that teenagers have a place to go, which can help them to stay out of trouble and in the long run reduce the incidence of street crime. It can be reset it by some wealthier taxpayers who see it as an unnecessary expensive paid for by their taxes. Well. Hmm. So I would like to find more things which are aiding GDP or have a potential income. Potential income or increasing GDP. This is something that we have to do at the moment because... We have really big problem with the, um, our deficit. New car subsidies. No, I don't like that. Don't like that. Citizenship for sale. Why not, actually? Why not? Let's do this. It's maybe giving him some money. Look at this. That is awesome. The corruption goes up? Why is the corruption goes up? I mean, you are officially buying it, right? Strange. But if we would get some money and the wealthy like it, let's do that.
All right. Hmm. All right, here we go. So here's a summary. GDP is going up. Oh, yes. 63%. Very good. What is, what is going on? Health. It's okay. It's okay. I was going on. Education. Very fine. Employment. Employment is going down. Very guy. Very guile. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> very cool. The crime is going down even. Poverty is going down. Awesome. Support demo dem democracy processes. Street protests are taking place in a foreign country with historical ties to us. We do a lot of profitable trade with this country, but their government is authoritarian and we face pressure to openly support the cause of the street processes. Support the processes? Do we believe in the democracy or not? This should be this should not be complicated. If the government is showing other I'm not totally sure with this saying. Democracy can be bad and good. Always. I mean, just if something is a democracy it doesn't mean it is good. We will be arranged if we faced protesters in our streets, as all democracies do, and foreign leaders started openly backing the protesters against our government. It would be terrible for our dem 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 diplomatic relations with this trading partner if we took their side and would have a small number of protesters in the street. Um. It doesn't help anything if if another country says, oh, this is not good. Really. Campaign speech is available. Oh, I didn't do the campaign speech last time. The world will little note, no longer remember what we say. But it can never forget. What is this? Socialists' happiness. Capitalists. Capitalists are going down. A society, a society that works for everyone, so we can bring people back together. Rich and poor, north and south, urban and rural, young and old. That is, sounds good. Why would the happiness going down? By the youth. By the youth. Liberal conservatives trade unions. We can do something about um, what is that? Middle income. Let's do something for middle income. Awesome. Give speech. It costs nine. No, not giving a speech. What the? Okay, here we go. Is our ratio sinking at least? I think it should. I think it should. Shocking state of amount. Situation imminent. Multinational tax evasion. Our data is showing that we will have potentially bad situation on our hand if if we do not act fast.
What do they want? Budget election report. The election is drawing near. We currently have 1.9 members. The opposition party has more members. Okay. I don't understand. It's here it says currently value is 32 per, 32 points 32 percent. But here it says 58 percent. What what is what is wrong about that? Don't understand that. Wally, hello. <laughs> I'm sorry that I hope I'm not repeating very late. Everything is fine, but uh as you can see I'm still I'm still uh in the act of democracy. I hope you're doing fine as well. And sleeping actually. Fine. All right. Okay. The global economy is in recession. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we can decrease actually the state pensions a little bit. Yeah, everything is nice. Um so how how is going on? Um it's very interesting. I'm I'm trying to learn. Yeah, there are, not, there are not many people left, I think, in the chat, so... <laughs> so everything is fine so far. Income. Income is coming through government borrowing. Interesting. And I think I'm going and soon the stream. It's 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 so crazy how much the the efficiency is at ninety five percent. By the way, it's quite good. But the corruption is going out, going up. The cabinet is working quite fine. We have seen worse cabinets, right? We have seen worse cabinets. The people are, I wouldn't say very unhappy, but um, we have just two more turns I think we have to do more for um, for people being happy though we may n are still going to have more debt but um, we really need more people on our side so let's do for example compassionate are they compassionate somewhere here Where are the compassionate? They're not here at all, actually. The wealthy, the wealthy are not happy with us. The wealthy are not happy. Okay, let's take a look. What can we do? The footsteps. Yeah, let's do the footsteps. Two billion. Wow. Elf would go up. 
poor earnings, the poor would be happy about that. The socialists would be happy. And the equality would rise. But it would cost us a lot. Hmm. Let's do at least a little bit, but it costs in any case already so much. So. Hmm. How much, how much power do we have? Still nine. Robotic insert, um, research grants. I think we should do that. Mars program. Well, let's do this. Something like this. Oh, let's do this one. It doesn't cost much. Free parenting classes. Population would go up. Unemployment would go down. Go down. Interesting. Hmm. I think we do, do we should do that. Five billion for food stamps. This is something. Now let's do that. We have money. We actually don't, but uh. <laughs> So, whom should we impress? The youth, ethic, minorities, liberals, parents, farmers.
parents and farmers. Yeah, let's do the free parenting. Let's do this. Why not? All right. So here we go. All right, the GDP has raising and, and even very much. Look at this. Finally, this is awesome. The health. It's okay. Education. It's okay. Unemployment is going down really much. Crime. A little bit. Poverty is going down. Oh, look at this poverty to just 5%. Okay, interesting. That is interesting. Changes to the policy footsteps so close to the election has made some of the voters cynical about your party. A female leader has been elected as the new head of the opposition. Representation of women at the highest levels of government has resulted from sustained campaign against gender inequality in our society. Oh, look at this. This is nice. The election is upon us and we might want to take the opportunity to improve our support by making manifesto promises. Poots report. The poots do not look good. Our last poots pool puts us at 37% of the voter election. 37%. This is not good. It has to be at 50% really. I mean, we. I don't understand how this works, actually. Voting intentions. Hmm. Focus group. Look at this, the crime has decreased by almost 50%, the lifespan by 33%. Traffic congestion is down, international trade up, private schools down, car usage is down, oil price has gone up 20%, okay, tourism 18%, air travel is going down, violent crimes going down, equality up, productivity up, poverty down. Isn't that awesome? But the GDP is still 11% down. But just 11%, 11 um, in a global recession, right? This is something you have to take um, into account. Oh, what are we? We are, we are very lib liberal. Capitalists? Strange. But the socialists love us? Very strange. <laughs> A conservative capitalist is Donald Trump. Joseph Stalin is a socialist and conservative. Interesting. Oh wait, how is actually about our budget report? Oh my god, it's 118%. Debt has still risen. But our GDP is well, so... Okay. All right. So the, this is the last round, right? I think this is the last round.
the people are more or less loyal. That is good. It's the last round, right? Yeah, the last round before uh, elections. Parties. I think we really have a problem here because the fundamental rights. Look at this, how high they are in, in uh, they have so many activists and members, so it's just crazy. Voter perceptions of your candidate and party can have an important influence with undecided voters. In an idea world, our, your party will be seen as high in all three major perception measurements. In practice, your policy probably prevented that, but you can compensate with media events. Don't waste media events too far from an election, as their effects will veer off over time. Okay. Eat breakfast in a typical builder's cafe. And what is it going to do? Show you have nothing to hide by being interviewed on light white fun morning TV show that exposes the true you. Try to appear commanding and intelligent while also down to earth and relatable, serious yet also fun, also natural and yet exceptional. <laughs> Interesting. Look at this. We are trustworthy. Potential media sun, strong leader, due to with special forces. Being interviewed while jogging, why not? What do you think, friends? Do we have a chance? I'm not sure. Can't be even more. Attend the funeral of police officers killed in the line of duty. Oh, there are more. We are already very, uh, very compassionate. Compassionate. More capital required. Current value seventy five percent. What does it mean? Yeah, we can do that. Does it help at all?
So what can we do? What more can we do? We just have the um, speeches. The speeches we can't do. We can do some manifestos. A GDP race is gonna be definitely. So target will be 88%. Interesting. Firearm laws cut cut by fifty percent. What? Income tax. Secularity of education. Executive term limit. ID cards cut by fifty percent. Twenty-five percent. This would be quite a lot. Hmm. Property tax, border controls. Intelligence services cut by 50%. Hmm. No. Hmm. Don't know, don't know. I mean, I mean, cut income tax by 25%, that's quite a lot. But this is something that everyone would like, right? Actually. More or less, yeah. Yeah, let's say we are going to do that. Okay. So we have still two left. I don't exactly understand how how the part about the no way what is that hmm. I mean the poverty has gone down so far and they are still not happy the speeches
Yeah, we can promise that. And we have just one point more. Yeah, I think we have done everything we can. Alright. Probably we are not going to win, but... <laughs> okay. Here we go, friends. Activist boost. We don't have activist boost and spending boost at all. So there's a lot of money in the right wing. What? No. What? Fifty-one percent. Ice. Woo. We have it. We were re-elected. That was close. <laughs> we are re-elected, friends. I can't believe it. <laughs> Okay, awesome, man. Well. Well, that is a very tight one. Changes. Forty two percent of the people. I mean, actually, we did very good. That was the first, the first round ever, right? Together, Pada wins another election. The global news is saying down there. I think you can't see it at the moment. Yay! Well, it was very, very close, actually. The ministers had a bad impact. <laughs> the ministers, ministers are minus 7%, spending impact minus 5%. But the perception impact is plus 15%. Alright friends, save screenshot. Oh like, alright. So I would say... I would like now to... To stop the game, actually. Can we... S How can we save it, actually? Save game. Here we go. We save it. We are going to call it re... Re... Re-elected? That sounds... Re-elect? I don't know. It's too late. Re-elect. <laughs> Alright, friends. I know there's probably no one here anymore, but... <laughs> but still, thank you very, very much to everyone. 
for this beautiful time together with us in democracy form. It was fun. It was fun. It was very interesting. I hope it was at least somehow interesting to you as well. And um, yeah, well, I don't know if we're going to play it one more time. Though I think I will, because <laughs> it's really interesting. There are still quite a quite a few things which um, can be done right in the game, and so we will see. But now it's already very late, and I'm going to bed. So good night, everyone, or good morning, depending on where we are. I wish you a beautiful, fantastic time, as always and usual. Bye bye.